Welcome to J is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to J is for Justice. How are we tonight? Happy Friday, or Saturday evening, rather. I got my days mixed up. Hang on, let me make this smaller so you can see all of us. I thought I had this all set. And I'm doubly on the the, the uh, screen, too. <laughs> oh, man. I've got a panel with me tonight, you guys. I've got Maligator and Potato. What's up, ladies? Hello, everyone. There we are. Yeah, that was going to be doggy cam down there. Hello. Hey, Maligator, how's it shaking? It's shaking. I'm shaking. You're shaking in your boots? Um, mm -hmm. You're getting ready for a wedding. You know, I bring this up every time you're on panel, but... Next real. Saturday. So exciting. I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think it's normal to be nervous. I mean, yeah. you're tired. But he's like cool as a cucumber. He's like, no, I don't have nerves. I'm like, oh, you will. <laughs> Oh, I think he's said. I think he's just ready. I think that's yeah. why he's not nervous because he's the one that's been really ready. I know. I'm he, ready. I'm just He can't wait to um... walk Maligator down the aisle. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we're all really happy for you. Thank you. Mhm. Mm um I want to just I want to touch on a couple things before we get into darling Nikki. Um mm -hmm. 
So, first of all, the clips that we're going to watch tonight, I have to give credit to um, Frankie Rusek for these clips. This interview, I personally, the clips I got anyway, came from his channel. Um, if you guys could share his link in the chat, that would be great. Uh, again, thank you to Frankie Rusek for the interview video that we are able to analyze and speculate on tonight. So, um, as I was watching this, though, um, earlier, it kind of popped in my head because I was re-watching them. And uh, it hit me, like, how ironic it is, given everything that came out in the last couple days as far as the Rusek family and the Watts case, that I was actually getting my material from Frankie and I mean really all we can do with Nicole Kessinger is speculate because she wasn't a suspect she was interviewed as a witness um but I just thought it was pretty ironic that here I am getting the exact video that I'm going to be questioning because everything she says is questionable almost um from Frankie so, I don't know, just kind of something weird that popped in my head while I was uh, putting all of this together tonight. So, um, you guys have any thoughts on any of, you guys want to talk about that at all? About the, you know, the, the blast on YouTube and, you know, you guys need to stop talking about the case. I don't know if you guys wanted to say something before we move on. I'll just give you a chance. Well, I don't think you can have the stop people talking about a case. I mean, how many cases do we talk about? People are still talking about John Bonet Ramsey. Mm -hmm. How many years ago was that? I think the only thing that I I would like to say is I think people need to stop blaming them saying that they had her ki them killed. I think that's a little out. I had never heard I've that before he either. said that. I that hadn't heard it either, ever. That's a theory I had never heard and never even visited myself. Yeah, me either. But when I heard him say that, I was like, that is gut wrenching. Yeah, I'm just yeah, that is sick. If people are saying that, that is sick. And that does it's no very stuff. sick. It's very mm -hmm. sick. And there's no there's no basis to that. Mm -hmm. Um but there is basis to questioning Nicole Kessinger, I think. Um mm -hmm. I've never thought that she was involved. I've always thought that she, you know, was just an unlucky woman who yep, so happened you. to be having this affair with Chris Watts, who was trying to get out of his marriage, right? Thought she was just an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. Leah Tech just said that she reminds, Nikki reminds her of um, Casey Anthony. And I thought exactly the same thing when mm. I was watching the videos today. Just the way they speak and stuff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. As I was listening to her, I was like, God, she reminds me of someone, but I can't think of who it is. Casey. It could be. As we watch these, though, I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind, too. Kind of the same mannerisms. Yeah. Just the way she says things. Yeah, it just really yep. reminds me of her. Mm -hmm. I think because it's her confidence. In a, in a, it's a very inappropriate confidence, in my opinion. And her lack of emotions as well. She didn't have a lot of emotions. Zero. <clears throat> and, and you know what? I'm going to... Oops. I'm going to play devil's advocate throughout this whole thing because I have mixed feelings on a lot of this. Hang on. My mic's out of control here. It's wanting to fall over. Um, But I have like certain things she says make me think, eh, it doesn't sound like she knew anything. And then there's certain things she says where I'm like, what? You know? So I see a lot of people in chat are agreeing that they had not heard that theory either, which I guess is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I guess that's a good thing that that's not something that the majority of us have heard people saying because that's pretty, um, it's pretty damn disgusting. Mm -hmm. And them getting death threats, like, what? Yeah, I've never heard that either. I mean, why would anybody want them to uh, We have to stand down. Oh, my God. What happened? Can you guys still hear me? <gasps> yeah. Did I? Did you lose me? No. I just, we just seen it fall. Oh, my screen went like blurry, and then I heard JB. We've got to stand down. <laughs> I was like, D "Where's JB? And is he sabotaging me? My live?" We didn't. We didn't hear that. No. You didn't hear that. 
No. Thank you, Shell. It was Shell's super chat. It said, JB, we need to stand down. She says, who's Watts? LOL. I know. <laughs> Some of you hate hate this case, but. um, Yeah, I agree. She is a tough one to read. But I think that we can say, you guys are like, oh, well, she heard lack of emotion. What about, um, what about shock? What about if she really did, you know, had just found out that she was pregnant? What if she was shocked? I'm not saying emotion about that. I'm saying emotion about um, the kids being killed. She showed no emotion for that. And I think, I mean, even for me, like, that's emotional to think, like, I think that touched everybody's gut and heart of just the thought of uh, them being in crude oil and you had an intimate relationship with this man and we're going to, he was going to get an apartment and you were going to like be introduced to his children at some point. And like to just, I mean, she really didn't even want to like, she's just, you know, just the way it was like, did they find them? You know, like, I don't know. She just lot to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And she, how she wouldn't address Sh- Shanann. She just kept saying his wife or her. You I'm know? not sure I would yeah. want to either, though. You know, I was thinking about that because at one point she, they were like, are you comfortable saying her name? I think mm-hmm. Kovac was like, are you comfortable saying her name? And she said, yeah, it's Shanann. Like, she said it. She didn't want to say it. No, I wouldn't want to say my my lover's wife's name if I just found out she's pregnant and dead either. I'd be like, I, oh my God. I, if know, I, I just... was being interviewed by the police and she was missing and ended up dead, I would be like, Shanann, Cece, Bella. Like, I would be like, whatever I could to cooperate and like try to feel like I'm sympathetic. I wouldn't just be like, Shanann. She was very, she had, she had distanced herself, I think, from Shanann very early on. I think she had already distanced herself from Shanann before the affair. Yeah, I think so as well. That's my the opinion, way the way I that think. she was leaning back in a chair though, like all relaxed mm. and chill just seemed really weird to me. Same. Yeah, I just think that she, when she looked up Shanann on Facebook, she already knew what she was up against. I mean, I'm not trying to be, you know, catty, but that's how some women operate. Like they look up and they're like, "Ah, eh, you know, what what am I going to have to contend with?" You know, what what's his wife look like? What what do I have that she doesn't? And what does she have that I don't? Mm-hmm. Type thing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> when, my, when my ex cheated on me, I was looking her up and like wanting to scratch her eyes out. Yeah, well, you I do mean, we do all that. do it. We all do yeah. it. I mean, if, if you say you don't, you're lying because Liar. everyone's done. We're nosy, but it's our human nature, especially. Well, it's so easy to do it as well. So why wouldn't you? Yeah, and that's fine to say she distanced herself from Shanann, but then why not talk more affectionately or sadly about the girls? Because they're in the in the end of all of this. Like this, they should have never been a part of any of that. They, I mean, it's. It's one thing, like, for him that he did that to Shanann, but what the hell did those kids do, too? You know, they're kids. They're babies. And, and you know, I from don't... what she says, though, she was encouraging him, you know, mm-hmm. and he was, she was texting him about little things to do with the kids, like, hey, have you seen yeah. these new Lucky Charms? I bet these are kick-ass, you know. It sounds did like we see she any of that? against him. Did we see any of that? No, I didn't see any of that. Exactly. So it's just her saying But we that. didn't see a lot because she deleted a lot. Mm-hmm. That's but what I have But they couldn't recover with. it. They couldn't recover it. And that's the other thing is that wouldn't be my first thing is to go delete everything. I'd be like, here's everything. Like, like Amber did in Scott Peterson. She was like, I'm going to help these people. Here's my stuff. I'll record him. But I feel like she ran for the hills. And it was always worried about all oh, her, her, her. What are people going to think of me? What is my job going to think of me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the media. Like she thought yeah. it was only about her. 
and that's what she got upset over as well was about her life and like no yes look at her the same way again and she's not gonna be able to walk the streets for years and she's not gonna be able to work yeah. and, and you know mm -hmm. do her yeah. job and be respected yeah. Which is funny, but then on the other hand, we know from her searches that she was looking up, you know, book deals and how much yeah. did Amber Fry make on a book deal. And so, yeah. hmm, I don't know, maybe we should watch for a book that comes out regarding this case that she may have penned. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like she had that on the brain. I think Daddy-O put a kibosh and stepped into a lot of that. What's that? To protect her to not do any of that he said he i mean he pretty much told her we we are not working with them at all that they could you know just look up the um the documents that they gave in their testimony while they interviewed them and that she was just going to be gone mm -hmm. yeah i know a lot of you guys have a problem with her dad being in the interview room with her that a lot of people have said it's ridiculous that he was able to be there why does she need her dad there? What's with this special treatment? Well, not even just being there, but the way he was talking to, what's his name, Kobach. Like he was interrupting him and he was saying, I can't mm -hmm. remember exactly like what he Like he did. was running the show, like he was going to direct. Yeah, when he, he was controlling the situation. Mm -hmm. When he said, leading, you're le leading, leading, yeah. you're leading. Like he's a, an attorney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I watched this like a couple times now in the past couple days and I think that it could have been a fact where they didn't want her to lawyer up. I don't think she got special privileges because she's Nicole Kessinger. I think they were trying to get and my camera just fell. So I'm gonna turn it off. I think they were trying to get um the most info they could in the quickest amount of time without having to, you know, her lawyering up and having to work through a lawyer. Because if they have to work through a lawyer, then it's going to take them twice as much time to get any information and they may not get it all. So I think mm -hmm. they were tiptoeing and being careful because they wanted that information. They wanted to verify against what they had from Chris in order to kind of solidify things. So mm -hmm. I think that might have been why it appeared that she was getting special treatment i'm just saying that is a that's an option yeah well it could have been the only way that they could get her into that interview room was to have someone there supporting her and that person was her dad because yeah. she didn't have to be there so she no didn't she didn't any of their questions she didn't and that's the thing so like if i if she were to say well i'll come in there and talk to you if my dad can come with me because yeah, he protects exactly. me and they said okay fine I, I hope you got the clip when he was reading stuff about her text messages and she goes, I don't remember that being in my text messages. And he goes, oh, well, we already had it. And she's like, well, then why did you need my phone? Oh, yeah. She makes a couple little uh, snotty kind of remarks, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. All right. Because she didn't think it. they'd see stuff that they did. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. get into it. And I might be a little behind here because I never thought anything of this chick. But I started to, um, I don't know, as I was started listening to this and I wasn't looking for nothing, I, I just, I noticed a lot of contradictory things. And I was like, okay, you guys, we've got to talk about this. All right, so let me know if you have sound and I'm going to play it and then stop it. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Hang on. There's no sound and, yet. Here we go. Uh, the 14th. Um, of August? July. July. Can you hear it? Nope. Nope. You have no sound? Mm-mm. No. Hmm. That's weird. That's <laughs> weird. Weird. Jeez. Bloopers. <laughs> you it need to make weird. sure that say that's weird <laughs> okay I'm gonna have to do it like this I guess but I don't know if I can pause it this way and, uh, the 14th um, of August July. July I don't know if it was the 14th or the 15th um, one of those two days, but we had went out and we stopped there just real quick on the way back 
Okay, and wait a minute. We were there not very long, but that time I saw a picture of his wife and one of his kids. And I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, she's so beautiful. And I, like, took a step back, and I was just like, this man has a gorgeous house. How do I get he this off the screen? Babies. He has a beautiful wife. He has an awesome job. I didn't know. Like, why would he want to leave this? And I guess like that, eh? I'm just wondering why you guys can't hear it. You can hear it now. Well, yeah, that way you can, but I don't know how uh -huh. to... It, like, auto-plays it. I don't know how to pause it. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know why you guys don't have any sound. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? It's weird because I have it ticked to uh, pick up audio. Strange. Okay, so let me try it again. Let me make sure. It just wouldn't be complete if it didn't, if it, I mean, it just can't work right. No, obviously. No. Just that would be too, show, that would be too easy. <laughs> Let's see here. She does not know. She does not know. If anybody knows how to pause this video, once you have it going in Melon, you can let me know. There's got to be a function. But I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was 14. No sound. I'll be damned. I know the audience can hear you because it's going through Streamlabs. You guys just can't hear it. Oh, so they can hear it on their end, but we just can't hear it. Yeah. Correct. You can hear it if you go to YouTube, I guess. Mm -hmm. Son of a gun. That's what was happening last time. I couldn't hear anything, but if mm -hmm. I put it on YouTube, I could. I mean, if I put it on the video like that, I guess I just, I can't navigate the video i can't control the fast forward and all of that i just mm -hmm. it just plays it but if i share a screen you guys can't hear it so we can either do the video and i'm just gonna have to i don't know you're gonna i mean i think i pretty much have it memorized so i think we'll be okay if you i mean just <laughs> you guys can just way. mute and listen on youtube if you'd like yeah. Okay, sounds good. It might be a bit delayed though. <laughs> I'll just I'll give you guys a That's moment okay. after and I'll just start talking and you guys no. can chime in. Okay. I'll just do it that okay. way. Okay, here we go. And the fourteenth. Um of August. July. July. I don't know if it was the fourteenth or the fifteenth. Um, one of those two days. But we had went out and we stopped there just real quick on the way back. And we were there not very long, but that time I saw a picture of his wife and one of his kids. And I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, she's so beautiful. And I, like, took a step back, and I was just like, this man has a gorgeous house. He has beautiful babies. He has a beautiful wife. He has an awesome job. Like, why would he want to leave this? And I remember talking to him about it and that was the first time that I tried to actually say what do you think about not separating from your wife like what if you really try to work on this and he had expressed to me that we've tried to work on this and it's not working so that is why we're separating and I spent some time like just you know kind of because it, it almost made me feel bad where I was like to the point where I'm engaging in a relationship with a man who the way he described it is in a contractual agreement, but was not in like an emotional relationship with somebody. Um, and for me, the way I would have preferred to do this is to have waited until that contractual agreement was also done and he was done. And he could have approached me and said, I am just had a divorce, you know, maybe we could take this slow, what do you think? But instead it was, oh, we're separated and we're working on a divorce. And that is the part that 
I feel bad about because I should have waited on that and I didn't. And, you know, I was just like, well, they're already there. So, you know, but then being in that house, I was just like, why? Fix this. Find a way to fix this. Make it work, you know? And, and I would, I would, I was like trying to push him to do it. And he seemed pretty reluctant to do it. He didn't want to. And, um, I don't know. We were still seeing each other fairly frequently, but I kind of like backed away so we weren't hanging out quite as much. And we were still close, but it was just like I really wanted him to try. Like I wanted to know that he tried and it didn't work and then he moved on, not... Not that, you know, they both kind of tried and then he got himself into a situation with somebody else. And I don't know, I just thought he had a beautiful life going on and he could have made it work. That was the way I looked at it from the outside. So is this something you reflected on since this event or was this you? No, I was doing it then. Like You, you said this, this doesn't mind. look right. He's kind of, um, I don't want to be responsible for breaking up a marriage, especially with two children. Is that kind of the gist I'm getting here? I didn't think it didn't look right. I mean, I, I think he was legitimately sleeping in the basement and I don't, I didn't think that these two were, I mean, I think it was like, hey, we're both stuck in this house for now. We got to sell this. In the meantime, you live here. I live here. We sleep in different rooms. Take care of the kids. That's just like kind okay. of how I took that. And um, no, I didn't think it didn't look right. I just thought it just seemed like he had so much going on and it was just beautiful that I was like, why don't you just try this out, you know, and see if you can fix it. And he'd always be like, well, what about us? What about us? I'm like, don't worry about us. Like, that is more important. Like, try to see if you can, like, salvage whatever it is that you have going on with your wife. And, and you know, he, I always got the impression that he was a great father to his kids. Like, always. And so, you know, and I was like, and be the dad that you want to be. I was like, and see if you can make it work. And he just... Like, we kind of talked about it off and on for, like, a few weeks, and I was just kind of like, I don't know. Like, I think I was kind of, like, cold feeting about it when I went after I went over his house. And so this was, like, pretty early on. And then um, he told me that, uh, oh, he went to, um, he went to North Carolina, and he was like, I'm going to talk to her when I'm in North Carolina and see if I can get her that house at that oh. time okay i'm gonna stop that's my first clip so this is a clip that makes me think that she really was like what are you, you know why are why are you throwing all this away do you think she was really saying that to him nope nope uh oh and i'll tell you why because she was researching him prior to this Mm -hmm. So she knew by Facebook that they were together and doing their things together and going on trips together. And she was following and researching them prior to this relationship. <clears throat> but that doesn't make her a murderer. Right? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. But it makes <clears throat> her, I don't believe this bull crap that he was sleeping in the basement. But what if with her cold feet in it, right? If she started cold feet in it, and Chris was kind of picking up on that, like, oh, shit, I'm going to lose her. Could that have been the catalyst for him? But was she really getting cold feet, though? Because if she really thought that they had a chance and could work it out because she thought they had a beautiful family, then she would have cut all contact with him and said, if it doesn't work out, contact me, like, when you're done. Like, because if but she keeps on talking to him, then she's just keeping that fire going. It's never going to... It's never going to stop. So I don't think she really thought or really wanted him to try with her at all. I think she's just saying that to make herself look better because of. What I happened. thought maybe that he was trying to appease her. Let me read my notes. I actually made notes on this one. Because when he, she told him to go to North Carolina and try to work it out with her. But we seen the text. She was blowing him up mm -hmm. saying, oh, are you with her? Oh, are you with her? That's why you can't answer like to yeah. okay. so my note i made a note earlier and i said what if nicole really was cold beating it i love her terms it's so yeah. crass <laughs> it's so crass considering your affair isn't just a little affair 
it turned mm-hmm. into a triple murder, right? Mm-hmm. Cold feet in it, and then she said at one point that she didn't know Shanann had a baby on board. Yeah. Baby well, quadruple, on board. Quadruple murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or quadruple murder. Baby on board. Like, baby up in this bitch? Like, mm-hmm. who talks like that when yeah. someone's deceased? Okay. So what if she really was cold feet in it? Like, I don't know if I want to get involved in this, in this whole mess of a situation with a divorce. I, you know, I live by myself. I don't have any baggage. I don't have kids. I don't have all this shit. And, and Chris, being the simpleton that he is, thought, hmm, I'll tell her when I go to North Carolina that I'm going to talk to Shanann about working it out to appease Nicole. Mm -hmm. Because maybe she had backed off and he didn't want her to. Then why message him while you're there? Oh, are you with her? Are you in bed with her? Are you this with her? Then why? Then why do that? There's yeah, that would be a perfect that. time to cut contact whilst he was Correct. away. She could if just you, be doing her you, own thing, and they forget about it for a while until he comes back. Right. And then if you wanted it. her to go there and do that, him to go there and do that, then leave it. Don't yeah. message him at all. True. True. I mean, I can't argue that. I really can't. I really can't. And then when she's... Okay, wait. Let's keep going because this next part. Okay, here we go. Definitely. I mean, the whole thing... So is that what freaked you out? Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. She was saying in the very beginning of that clip, um, that was the second time she went to the house. She said she'd only Mm -hmm. been there twice. She's going to talk about the 4th of July. These are all out of order. But she had been there. That was the second time she was talking about around the 14th or whatever. And that was when she said she saw a picture of one of the kids with Shanann. And that was when she started cold beating it. Mm-hmm. So the fact, and look at, when I paused it, she's looking right at that damn camera that creeps me <laughs> out. I don't buy the cold feet in it for one damn <laughs> second. Mm-mm. No, I don't think so either. But I'm biased. I got cheated on and I just am not good for adultery. <laughs> Well, I just don't know. I mean, she could have backed off a bit because, you know, she's got her own thing going on. She's got Jim. So Chris isn't just her focus. Like, but, she but is we his. we see no text, Jay, that shows she wrote in any text. We see none of that saying she was writing to him and ha- was cold feeding it and going to back off. It was always. I know everything's she wants to the have opposite. His first son. She was messaging him. Are you with her? She wasn't acting like somebody with cold feet in it. If that's how she wants to word it. I mean, if you're gonna say that, then your texts don't prove that. Mm-hmm. True. And also, she could have, like, if she had have been backing off a little bit, maybe she was doing it to pull him in even more. Like, if he thinks he's gonna lose her play games mm. agreed mm-hmm. well and that's what i think maybe she did kind of pull away and then when he was there it kind of backfired on her so she was up his ass type thing yeah like oh shit well, th- and maybe- that's why it kind of made me wonder jay when he said about the dating app she kind of got muffled there when he asked her about the dating app the whatever i can't remember the name of the dating app she was on and he asked her, do you think his motive could have been because he thought you were dating other people? And that's when she said, how did you know that that wasn't in my phone? And he said, oh, well, we already had that information. Mm-hmm. I didn't, so no, maybe I didn't she catch was. that. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's keep yeah. going. Okay. I mean, he told me that he was living in the basement. Um, and he said, we're separated, but we're not divorced and we're going to get ready to sell the house. And that was the impression that I was under. And I was under the impression that they were taking everything pretty slow with this, with like getting ready to sell the house. I mean, those are big things. So that's what I was informed. And I mean, if you think about it, this whole thing happened in a six week stretch. Like it's not really that much of a time frame. So in that sense, like it's believable to me. Um, Yes, I went I went to the house and um the first time I was there um I hung out in there like 
front living room. I just sat on the floor, and it was on the 4th of July. It was the morning of the 4th, and I was helping him uh, to set up my fitness pal app and like track his food and his calories and stuff because he does pretty good with the working out and stuff and he asked me he's like can you help me just like get this dialed in it's like yeah i can do that so that he invited me up to the house and i was already kind of hesitant to do it because i was like there are other people that live here and i just felt like it was an invasion of space and so i went up there and we just stayed in that front room and i helped him out with that um and got him all set up with that and then uh Oh, he asked me if I wanted lunch, and he grilled chicken and carrots, chicken and carrots. And then uh, that's all he had. And I was like, okay, so we, uh, so we ate, and then I left. And then there was another day about, I can give you the date-ish. I'm going to look at a calendar. I think it was the weekend after my birthday. Um, just a thing on the courtesy for the phone for... What was that guy's name? Don? This gentleman. Oh. Thornton P. I just met him today. <laughs> oh, do you want to do the I phone today? I forgot about that. For TPD. I it's not for them. They're doing it for us. Yes. We just didn't, we don't have the equipment with us to do it, and I asked them to do it for us. They're not involved in this investigation. He would just be a uh, computer person. He would not be looking at any of this stuff. That uh, would fall to myself. So... Keep that in mind. He's not involved in this investigation. Thornton PD has nothing to do with this, other than letting us use their facility and um, helping us with some electronic download. He's not going to look at your phone right now. He's going to put it on a disc, and they're going to give it to me. Gotcha. I don't want to leave there. I really want to help you guys. I do. I feel like I'm, I'm, this whole thing is just going to be crazy regardless of whether I give you my phone or not. I mean, that's kind of how I look at it. Like, it's happening. It's going to happen. Well, the text the reiterate what you've been saying all along, so it's not like... Well, they do. That's the other thing, too. I mean, that's kind of a good backup. Yeah, I'll yeah, give I it think to you them. hit the nail right on the head. There's reasons why we want everything. Um, it validates things that we know. I'm not going to come out and tell you that... I, if you tell me something today, we'll validate it with your text messages, whether it's the ones yeah, we have yeah, now yeah. or the ones... Okay. <laughs> All right, what do you guys, do you guys have any thoughts on this one? Did you not see her constantly looking at her dad and not the cop? <laughs> like, I, I can't. I think it's very interesting. The first thing that popped out to me was when she says, I just was in that front living room. Mm -hmm. like, she was adamant. I was only in that front living room. And, you know, I sat on the floor. Like, I didn't even want to sit on their furniture. You know, that's the that's the thought I get. Like, I didn't even want to sit down. Like, I did not feel comfortable in that house. I don't believe it. But then she says, oh, that's right. He asked me to eat lunch and have chicken and carrots. So she sat on the floor in the front room, right? She didn't leave that yeah. front room, right? Mm-hmm. But she was only there off eating cook. chicken. <coughs> yeah. Chicken and carrots. Isn't that the meal of the night before the murder? The night before with the chicken. Mm -hmm. He made all those chicken breasts for himself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and when she said she was on his his app counting his calories, no, she was probably putting a damn spy app on him to find out what he where he was doing or where he was going. Mm mm. I don't know. I just picture I, I picture them in that in that front room, and it's just it's creepy to me because I've been there and like looked in that window, and like looked at that carpet, and just to think, those two were probably in there romping, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, we stopped by there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I and I guess I just like for me, whether she had anything to do with it or not, I don't know. I wasn't there. But regardless if they were going through a separation or not, you do not go in another woman's house with children and go and hang out with her husband, period. Maybe that's just because I've been through it. It makes me a little mm -hmm. more like, mm -mm, I just, 
I think it was wrong from the beginning. Yeah, and she was talking about her morals and stuff as well, and she only stayed in the Correct. front room, but you're in the house anyway. Yes. It doesn't matter what room you're in, you're still in the house, and you know that Correct. Thing. She was trying to justify it. She knew yeah. she was in the wrong, and that's mm -hmm. why... And that's why I've given her the benefit of the doubt, because I think she's justifying it because she knew it was wrong and she's regretting it. Yeah. Um, I will share my videos with you guys. I thought I did. I did a little video on that. I might play some of it. Yeah, you did. I might play a little bit of it. Not right now, but if I don't forget. Um, But. Yeah, so we sat in the front room. We stopped by so I could and then I did his macros. And yeah. then the second time we were there, we just stopped by and like that's when I saw the picture. I, right? Like so where was this mm -hmm. picture that she saw of Shanann and one of the girls? She yeah. said she walked upstairs. She said she walked upstairs and seen the photos. Oh. Yeah, cuz there were pictures at the top of the stairs on their little at the top of the steps. Mm -hmm. Side board thing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so lie. She also said they had a big bed, but she said that also they FaceTimed. And she made a point to say, He FaceTimed me and there was no sheets on the bed. And he said his daughter's sheets stunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have one. Okay, I, let's play this next one. And then I have another question. I've not really been eating or sleeping much at all. Yeah, I, I'm with you. We, we definitely need to accelerate the case because the more law, the more it takes, the less sure that they are of situations. But on the other what? end, I think if we... Wait, let's play that again. Now, this is Dwayne. This is her father sitting here. And they're discussing her phone. And she's very reluctant for them to see everything on her phone. Mm -hmm. So her dad is rationalizing giving the information up now versus later. And let's listen again to Mr. Dwayne, who I just want to throw a random fun fact in there that I always thought was effing weird. His profile, not his profile picture, his cover photo on Facebook at the time of the murders was like an electrical meter and it said, Watts across the top. I swear to God. Had yep. you guys ever seen that? Yep. Put a yep. one in chat no, if you've I seen haven't. the Watts cover photo on Dwayne Kessinger's profile. I yep. haven't. That's creepy. Yep. Mm -hmm. When that happened. Yep. Okay, let's let's play this and then I'll, I'll show find you it and send it to you, Jay. Okay, cool. Not really been eating or sleeping much at all. Yeah, I, I'm with you. We definitely need to accelerate the case because the more law, the more it takes, the less sure that they are of situations. But on the other end, I think if we, if you do just that only, you tell me what you're willing to provide that, to me, and we'll is that write good it enough. <clears throat> I just want, like, our text conversation and then, I guess, our phone call records. So, I'm going to put... Uh, so, the time and date of the phone call records and then our text message. Text. Could we get photos of him? Huh? Could we get photos of him? Off of Would that? you mind if we got his photos that he sent to you? Oh, well, there will be in that text message thing. So, all his photos were sent? There was no apps or anything else you no, used that you no, guys no, were no, sending? No, no. It was no. all just text messages? Yeah. Okay. So... It'd be an attachment to a text that he sent you? Pretty much. But you, uh, everything is in the text and the phone call records. So, like all of it. Because we don't have it on tape, we discussed prior to turning the tape on. Um, on Tuesday, which would have been the 14th of August, um, you had read some newspaper articles on the 13th and the 14th that regarded this case. You had also had a conversation with Chris at some point during the day on Monday. Uh, and on Tuesday, because of what you found, specifically what you said was, and I don't let me put words in your mouth, but you knew, you found out that his um, wife was pregnant. And I, yes. And you did not know that prior? 
and you found that out via the newspaper articles. That maybe his wife was in danger at that point, and it was day two, two. Okay, I think I just had a little rollover there, didn't I? Um, I did find it. So I'm going to share it real quick. Yeah, I sent it to you, too. So. Oh, you did? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is. You guys see that? Yeah, that's, yep, that's what I sent to you, too. Mm -hmm. So you see the Crazy. little meter up there. It says right underneath the little thingy, Watts. That's so weird. And that's... <laughs> Weird. weird and this website is <laughs> so weird shake is shakedown i'm sure you guys have seen this this is a great site um this is uh that guy oh, nick vanderleek this is his website he's got tons and tons of watts stuff um right here too this is another thing i wanted to bring up before i forget this photo here see the black labels yeah. see those big boys right there those on their arms. Mm -hmm. um, Shanann's dad was actually wearing one of those in his most recent interview. Mm -hmm. Steve and I, and I like, wear them. And I was like, wow. I we mean, thrive. It's, you do thrive? Yeah, we have the black labels. But it my, just kind of seemed creepy to me just because mm -hmm. that's what Chris was wearing when he committed the murders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, And so he was in the house as well with it on. And it yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the kitchen with the black label showing in yeah. the, yeah, it was just, it, it well, really. Well, I knew they thrived before, and, and Nicole still sells Thrive, so I'm sure that's probably why. Oh, I know that's why. I just mm -hmm. think it's just a little ironic being that Chris, you know, that's what mm -hmm. he was wearing when mm -hmm. he murdered their daughter. It's just and ironic. Yeah, all these, same place as well. Yeah, all these, mm -hmm. all these things. So, um, I don't know. There's a lot of things on here, like, um. This came out, I don't know if that was real or not. There was these texts that were supposedly Chris's co-workers talking about what a ho she was. Um, there's all kinds of stuff on this site that he has, but I want to show you. I'm going to have to find that. Yeah, it's actually shakedowntitle.com. Huh. So he's got the Thayers. I mean, all he's got everything. Do you remember when that canine lady had the dog and it was barking like towards those dumpsters and she just kind of brushed it off and never let the dog go to the dumpsters? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That was quite bizarre, too. The um, mm -hmm. the family that saw them at the fair mm -hmm. and yeah. actually got pictures of them. And he was yeah. on his phone. August mm -hmm. the 2nd. August the 2nd. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see this good? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's see. Oh, the ultimate. <laughs> oh, that was that was not a happy, joyful yikes. <laughs> no, that was not a good reveal. You could see it in his face. He was just oh, yeah. like, oh God. Mm hmm That's what I'm saying. She knew. She was Shanann's profile was public. She knew. She was watching. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> she knew she was pregnant. Oh, yeah, I already think she did as well. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find that Watts picture or the Kessinger one up close. And I'm not justifying what he did, but I do think that she lived too much of her life on social media, and he was kind of an introvert, as we see. And I don't think he was as involved in it as she wanted him to be. No, we can I see think that. I, yeah, I think it was too much. Yeah. Okay, and well, let's talk. I get that. Go ahead, Potato. Sorry. I was just saying, I get that. Like, I wouldn't want that either. No, and it's funny because as you were saying that, here's um her videos. February of 2018, 21 videos. March, 6 videos. April, 18 videos. May, 18 videos. June, 14 videos. July, 5 videos. And August, 0. Mm -hmm. and like, is that lives too, though? Are those lives too, or just videos she posted? Are those all lives? Because she oh, would do videos know. and lives, you know what I'm saying? And this is her <laughs> uncle, right? An actor and bodybuilder, Peter or Oranati. Or or mm -hmm. That's her uncle? Mm -hmm. He's really, I mean, he's got all the research on <laughs> 
here. He's got everything that I think could have ever come out. The doll pit. That doll thing still creeps me out. Yeah, the doll pick is disturbing. Um, now, what do you guys think of this? Um, engineer mining oil gas drilling in the Denver zip code. 31 year old husband. Okay, two year, five foot 11, 170 pounds. Do you think that this was his profile? By guy. I never gave yeah. it much much uh, clout because this would be when that Trent guy comes into play. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know if I believe that. I don't. I but you know what? This case is so whack. I. <laughs> this is this is it right here. Here's the yeah profile. I'm looking for another guy to get into some trouble with, whether it be hanging out, playing some vid games, watching a game, college football fan, hiking, four by fouring, good beer, whiskey, et cetera. That doesn't sound like Chris. No. I no. Think it is. But that's what I'm saying, though. We don't know him, though. It could, I mean, it could be that he literally wanted this other life that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do you think who, that okay. somebody made this profile with his info? I'm going to ask, do you guys think that Nicole Kessinger is a transgender? No. I think she's bisexual. You do? I do we, have we do. ever seen any photos of her prior to that age? Mm -mm. No, she didn't have social uh -huh. media, remember? Yeah. No, we haven't. And don't you think that's odd? She didn't have social media. No social media. I think she did. She had everything scrubbed. She no, because when she paid a lawyer, she said to have she a, never. She everything. said she never had social media. She did. But she must have had some social media. She, did. she was looking up Shanann, though. She did. Yeah. In her face. Unless she was up. looking her up from Jim. <laughs> I never saw her Facebook, but I did. I did have her LinkedIn in the very beginning. And she said that she never had a LinkedIn. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, she said, I didn't have, I don't have so any social media link. No, you don't now. Mm -hmm. I know exactly who the lawyer is that scrubbed her stuff too. Hmm. Interesting. So you think somebody made this thing up after? <laughs> Amanda's laughing at me. She's like, Oh my god, Jay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, it's a legit question. I've you know, I've wondered it when I've I don't know. <laughs> she's like I don't think she's trans <laughs> I think she's probably maybe bisexual I think she's a dabber I don't know I don't but I don't think he made this profile I think but... he was hosed with that profile mm -hmm. I do too yeah, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was totally hosed with that because you could get all that information off of their social mm -hmm. media to be mm -hmm. honest mm -hmm. okay yeah. here it is here it is there's Dwayne mm -hmm. and his wife that's not Nicole's mom. I think they're divorced. He's remarried. But there's the Watts thing. And I thought, this is just too much. Mm -hmm. Why on God's green earth would this dude have a freaking meter that says Watts? Hmm. We need Amanda Amanda's opinion. Amanda's done a lot of research. Amanda, on this do you Watts. still have that video on YouTube? She said that she had a YouTube and she saw a bipolar video. Yeah, she, I was going to say, if you want some dirt, it's ask Amanda because she was in mm -hmm. gung ho with her, him too. See, I didn't really follow her in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I was more like digging into Chris and Shanann's life and all of that stuff. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I thought this, this has always bothered me. It's always freaking bothered me. I can't believe I haven't seen it before. I can't believe you haven't either. I don't understand how. <laughs> and I mean, I'm here to say the proof proof is in the pudding, if you will. If you she, will. She <laughs> says it had been his cover for a year or so before. You know, the she doesn't proof have it in anymore. The pudding, if you will. Yeah, he had it on there for a long time. It wasn't like it was something that was just put there. 
And when we all like were when we found out her name and we were looking her up, then he came up. And this is mm-hmm. what we saw. And we were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and is he really Freemason Ill- Illuminati like everybody says? I, I don't know. I, How there's, is he know? there's so much that's swirled around them because we just mm-hmm. don't know. Mm-hmm. So I think there's been a lot of things made up. Mm-hmm. Like oh he's in the I know a lot of I know a few oh. men that are Freemasons and they're not creepy and they're not killing people. No, no. So mm-hmm. I don't think that that holds any merit. I think people are trying to get some kind of a connection between the investigators and this Dwayne because he seems to know them. He seems to be very comfortable. They're calling the one re- guy by the name Mark. I mean, they're not even using you know last I, names or I. I don't think they're all bad, but I do think Freemasons have a lot of higher up connections. Oh, yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. Well, and they look out for each other. It's just like any yes. other group, you know, like, take, yes. look at the biker groups, right? I mean, they'll mm-hmm. fuck someone up for somebody. Yeah. You yep. know what I'm saying? Especially the ones for child stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they'll go, they'll, if you say, hey, this person did this, that, or the other to my kid, like, they'll go fuck them up for you. Yeah. So did you see the They're Aquaman? just more of a, like a different class, you know, different, different class of people like that are in the Freemasons, I think. Did I see what? The the Aquaman, I, why can't I think of his name? That's with Amber Heard. <laughs> Pavarazzi's been up his a hole since the whole Amber Heard thing. So he took a big biker group with him to some orange gardens. So the paparazzi wouldn't bother him. He had a biker. See, I'm telling you. He, he took him with him. <laughs> He said it was the most peaceful thing he's done. There was no paparazzi. <laughs> Who called Nikki Nick? Amanda? Who's Nikki? Um, Kobach, I think. Nicole. Was calling Nicole. Nicole Nick. Yep. So they were like over friendly with each other. But which wait, is what her saying, son's though. name is Nick, though. Are you sure she wasn't? He wasn't calling, talking to her son. No, it was no, when he was talking job. to her. Because weren't they in there together, Nick and Nikki? I think she's talking no, about uh, in Kessinger. the interview. In that interview, because he offered her his lunch as well. Oh, I thought you meant Atkinson. That he was mm-hmm. calling Atkinson Nick. Okay, I'm confused. He called Nikki, Nicole Kessinger, Nick? Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to have a defense for that. I think that these investigators who are professional interrogators have a way of making people feel comfortable. And by him calling her a little nickname, it makes him... He's He's feeding off of her energy. He's trying to. And she's pretty, like laid back and like uh, whatever so he's like nick you know like he even loosens up at one point he says okay this guy's an asshole that's why you deleted him from your phone like i feel like he was trying to you know uh resonate with her yeah keep it informal Mm -hmm. so she keeps talking to him well because she's informal right so Mm -hmm. he was trying to stay on her page that's what i think okay let's go back to the video let's get off this watts creepy ass meter he's he's never been asked i've never i want to ask him that like dude why do you have that <laughs> like why <laughs> just give us one one reason give me one reason all right let's go back let's go back waltzed to the <laughs> whilst whilst you guys are waiting i'm gonna go back to the video <laughs> Whilst we're sat here waiting, you're oh, yeah, what? Whilst, <laughs> there waiting. You go. whilst we're sat here, I'm going to go make some tea. I got I got some tea you in got a little some tea in a double deck. I got the cutest little tin, and it's don't got, forget the crumpet. I got a little tin of a. It looks like a double decker bus with English tea. My mother would love it. My mother was a huge tea drinker, um, so she would love that potato, the English tea. And some hobnobs to dip in your tea. <laughs> oh, hobnobs. You guys, Potato. We're to, we have to have a talk about hobnobs. If any of you mm-hmm. people Wait. in the UK are in here, dude, hobnobs are my new obsession. Everyone over here is probably asleep, so probably not. <laughs> Potato, one, one of our ER nurses at my work, he was so funny because the girls were all, they just drink garbage. They literally eat and drink all night long. But he was like, the only way 
you drink tea is through a kettle and milk. Yes, so he would exactly. make tea and milk at work. And I was like, oh my gosh, potato would love yeah. you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's doing it the right mm -hmm. way. I love it. Yeah, him. he does. <laughs> potato, mm -hmm. yeah. potato loves to get tea bagged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> you asked for it. You asked for it. Well, how about this? Leo Tech just said that her brother's name was Hobnob. His nickname was Hobnob. Well, it's the best. They are the best biscuits. So oh my gosh. Okay, so someone said they're here from Glasgow. So Glasgow yeah. sounds like it's in the UK. Yeah, well, okay. it's, yeah, Scotland. Oh, it's where? Scotland. The Scotland Yard. Do you eat hobnobs in Scotland too? They are must they, do. Are they a hot item across all of Europe? <laughs> <laughs> just pick anywhere in they, Europe. It's, it's they, all the same place. <laughs> okay, maybe, I'm just going to press maybe play. Maybe we need to go get, maybe we need to go visit and I get think, tea bags and eat hobnobs. I think I need, I think I need a globe. <laughs> I think I might need a globe. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> you guys know hobnobs are the shit. Okay, I'm gonna get back into NK. They said it's Scotland and yes. <laughs> Yay, they like my biscuits too. <laughs> Do you like my biscuits in Scotland? Oh, what, when I deleted those? Oh. I was just kind of grossed out by oh, it. Oh, here we go. This is where it gets really good. Oh, you mean oh, uh, when I deleted half, like seventy-five percent of my phone? Oh, that. And it was day two too, and she still wasn't home. What did that cause you to do with your phone, though? Oh, what? When I deleted those, I was just kind of grossed out by him, to be honest with you. I was just like, I don't know what's going on right now, but you just lied to me, and. I don't want to see this come over my phone anymore. So I removed it. So you re just... See how she says that to him? That little bitch. This bothered me. She goes, so I removed it. Like, how dare you, Kovac, ask me why I removed all my texts with Chris, who you think killed his whole family. I removed... So I removed it. To be honest with you, I was just like, I don't know what's going on right now, but you just lied to me, and I don't want to see this come over my phone anymore. So I removed it. So you re just, you already said, but you removed text messages? I deleted all of his stuff because he lied to me. I mean, that's what it was. It was, it was the hurt that made me delete it, and then it was the lie that made me start questioning everything else he'd been telling me for the last few days. Okay, so what this tells me is she's all about her damn self and how this made her feel. The, oh, it made me, it made me, the lie is what made me delete it. That, that's what we said, like, through this whole interview, it's all about her and how she feels and how she's going to look and how she this and how she that. It's mm -hmm. nothing about... I am devastated. Oh my God, where's his wife? Where are these kids? What did I do? It's all her, 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 her. Okay, Amber. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and both reasons why she deleted it has, she doesn't want to mention anything about the murders. Nope. Nothing about the murders, nothing about Shanann, nope. nothing about the girls. Only, hey, you know what? Because this would have been a bad breakup. So she comes on to say, okay, let's listen. And that's when you decided to come forward. Yes. Okay. So just for context, yes. when people delete stuff off phones, usually we go, hold no, on no, a second. No, 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 no. It and, wasn't and that's malicious why I wanted, at right. all. Yeah, see, he's, he's speaking some truth to her. He's like, hey, you know, when people delete stuff off phones, we're, we're side eyeing your ass. Like, we're looking at you. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's not why. It wasn't no, not malicious at all. He, he, he lied to me. It just hurt. Like I had never felt like he'd ever lied to me before, and it was a big lie. I mean, right. that's why she deleted the shit because he lied to her. What? What? Telling somebody that you're in the midst of a divorce, and then you, 
have a wife that has a 15 week old baby on the way is a huge, huge thing. And I was very taken back and I was just, it was hurt. And so at that point, I just. Mm -mm. Right here. This is where she lost me. When she realized, if, she, if she's telling the truth, that she did not know Shanann was pregnant and 15 weeks pregnant at that, instead of deleting everything in her phone, she would have picked up the phone and called the Frederick Police Department and said, look, I don't know if he's got anything to do with this shit, but he never told me that that woman was pregnant. Yep. yep. That's what yeah. I said earlier, because like Amber Fry, that's exactly what she did. You wouldn't be I, thinking of yourself when you know there's children missing. And what are the dates that she looked up and what are the dates Shanann posted? Oh, I don't know. She looked them up well before she even supposedly started having this affair with Chris. She looked oh, them up the she, year prior. Yeah, so <clears throat> September, September 2017. And you don't think she was watching her Facebook since? Mm, I like, don't know. Listen, I mean, she could have. She could have looked her up when you're you're she, with this married guy. And you well, he just started working there. Him. Well, I think she, she's he just, dating him at this point. No, she mm -hmm. wasn't dating him in 2017. No, I'm saying no, now she's dating him. So if she had looked him up prior. We know she can right. still look him but up. But we've yeah. all looked up coworkers. Uh huh. You know, Especially I mean, he was, ones that you might be interested in, like if she was attracted to him. Yeah, like, hey, he's pretty freaking he hot. Yeah, let's uh -huh. see if he's hitched because he's not wearing a wedding ring. Uh -huh. So let me see what he's all about. But the minute she went to Chris Watts' profile and then she goes to Shanann Watts' profile, she sees more than she ever wanted to see, honestly. Yeah. But you don't think she kept up with that? You think she just was like, oh, I one-time look, I'm done? I think the first look could have been a one time, but she definitely went back in January because we know that yeah. she was looking at Shanann in January. Mm -hmm. So we have September and then we have January and that's pretty much all we know as far as searches. But yeah, I mean, she was obviously looking at him. She could have been looking her up on other people's phones as well, like Jim. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have a doubt that she was following it very closely, especially that summer. That summer. Been. She saw the video. She saw the oops, For we sure. did it again. And <clears throat> I've often wondered if Shanann didn't think there might have been something going on. And that was why that video was put out there, too. <laughs> and he looked shocked as Hell. Well, yeah, he looked like a guy uh -huh. who just got caught with his hand in the fucking cookie jar. Yeah, he didn't know what to say. Yep. Because I almost wonder if what he was thinking is, oh, fuck, Nicole's mm -hmm. going to see this. He knew everything went on Facebook. Yeah. So he deleted his Facebook thinking, yep. okay. And I think that's why he did. I think that's why. Yeah, he didn't want that link. He didn't want to be linked. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right, here we go. I, like deleted it. I had a, I had a few more quick things to say to him, and then I just got rid of him. That's literally what I did. I just cut him out of my life. It That's what I want to know. What were the quick things that she needed to say before she cut him out of her life? would have honestly been like a bad breakup kind of thing. Like if none of this other stuff would have happened, that's what it would have been. That would have been the end of it. The information was not destroyed because there was anything in there that would be uh, harmful to you or potentially to Chris at this point, but harmful to you in particular. That's not what you did. Okay. His wording was really crazy right there. So when he says, you didn't do this because it would be harmful to you, and then he backs up because he doesn't want her to freak out and think she's a suspect. So he's like, well, really, to Chris at this point, but that's not the reason you did it, right? Okay, why am I missing this? Hmm? Amanda wrote, Jay, don't forget, she told Lauren he had a work girlfriend. Who did? Chris, I'm guessing. Who told Lauren? 
Amanda just wrote, Jay, don't forget she, which is Shanann, told her friend Lauren he had a work girlfriend. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's, I think that's why I've always well, that thought. that makes sense why she posted it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've always thought that there is, that was done on purpose. Like a kind of like, mm -hmm. he's mine thing, back off, we're yep. having another kid. Your shit's done. Yep. Say hi, babe. Say hi to Say oh, hi to Jay. Hi. Oh, hi, cutie patootie. Hi, cutie patootie, she said. <laughs> oh, they make me want to gag, guys. They make me want to gag. <laughs> I just play along. I play along. I like to just make Maligator just appease her. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking newlyweds <laughs> gag me with a spoon she said gag me with a spoon <laughs> that she just plays along with us she said gag me with a spoon I love she, you she, guys she loves us an asshole. So I'm okay bye oh, here's, my room. My here's that part myself. where he calls him an what? asshole I'm hard not to love huh I'm hard not to love. I know you are hard not to love. I know. We all it. we all try to resist, Steve. Yeah. Close the door. We Tell him we all try to resist him. I told him to get out. Yeah, get out. Like, 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 no, you're not to me. No yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm property. live. Get out. <laughs> I just... oh, excuse my language. This guy's an asshole. Uh, all right, here we go. A huge, huge thing. And I was very taken back. And I was just, it was hurt. And so at that point, I, I was Hoyt. I like deleted it. I had a, I had a few more quick things to say to him, and then I just got rid of him. That's literally what I did. I just cut him out of my life. It would honestly okay. been like a bad breakup kind of thing. Like if none of this other stuff would have happened, that's what it would have been. That would have been the end of it. The don't information was dog, not destroyed batch. because there was anything in there that would be uh, harmful to you or potentially to Chris at this point, but harmful to you in particular. That's not what you did. No, 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 You no, did no. it out of... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. of, excuse my language. This guy's an asshole, so I'm getting it rid of him, and I'm getting this stuff off my phone. That was like me kicking him out of my life. Okay. And then, like I said, and then realizing that he lied, that was when I was like, okay, maybe his family is in danger, and they're not coming back, and they're not staying with a friend. Yeah, when did I go over there... Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning. Okay, what is Dwayne talking about? Did I go over there? What's there? Listen to this part again. Oh, excuse my language. This guy's an asshole, so I'm getting it rid of him, and I'm getting this stuff off my phone. That was like me kicking him out of my life. Okay. And then, like I said, and then realizing that he lied, that was when I was like, okay... Maybe his family is in danger and they're not coming back and they're not staying with a friend. Yeah, when did I go over there? Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. I called you Wednesday morning. That's when we started discussing you guys need to get everything that we just... You can understand that... What the fuck are they talking about? What was that? Did you understand any of that? Code talk? Hello? Are you guys there? I am, but I haven't heard that bit yet. I'm listening on you. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. We're, we're, well, yeah, I was, like, I was like, wait, what? We're on delay. I'm I like, haven't got to that bit yet. I'm sorry. We're like two, minute, we're like two minutes behind. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Okay, carry, I, carry on. Now, like, now we've missed it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play it you, again. When we mute, we can still hear our conversation yeah. after we mute. It's like a good 10 seconds delay. Okay. Yes. I'll yes. replay yes. it. I'll replay it, but it really did not make sense. Okay. So, okay. All right. I'm going to play it again. <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all a minute to catch up. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when did I go over there? Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning. I called you Wednesday morning. That's when we started discussing you guys need to get everything that we just you can understand the importance of oh no question we were like i said people lie phone records don't what are they talking about like i just don't she's got her hand on her head she's clearly distressed
I know me too, Brandy. You hear something new when you when you break it down. I'm just waiting for you guys to get caught up. <laughs> He's telling her about when he gets involved. But where does he say he came over to? And then she's like, got her hand on her head. Is she recalling the day that she had to tell him what she did? Or Yeah, well, he's telling her, he said Tuesday, and she's like, Wednesday. And then she puts her hand on her head like, did he just say a date that he shouldn't have said? Yeah, I don't know. And come over where? To the watch? To her apartment. No, to her apartment. Because remember, Jim was visiting. And her and Jim were both sick. Conveniently, Jim came to visit Monday and Tuesday. Yep. And then Wednesday, they were supposed, her and Chris were supposed to go look at apartments. Correct. And mm-hmm. he just said, I came over Tuesday. But Jim was still there. And then she's like, Wednesday. Right away, she's like, Wednesday. Yeah. And then put her hand on her head. Let's watch that again. Because I feel like there's a lot going on right there. Okay, give us time. Because it's yeah, way more than 10 seconds. It's like probably yeah, like it's, it's 30, 40 time. seconds. Uh-huh. Yeah, I will. I will. Okay, okay. That was like me kicking. Maybe I should slow it down just a touch. I don't know if it's going to sound weird. If it sounds weird, I won't. Yeah, like I'm just to the part where it said I'm gonna wait for you guys to get caught up. You hear it? Do you hear where I'm at? But where is he saying he came over to? And then she's like, got No, I know there's a delay. There's always a delay for streamers versus the live. That's all. And then realizing that he lied, that was when I was like, okay, maybe his family is in danger and they're not coming back and they're not staying with a friend. Yeah, when did I go over there Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning. Wednesday I called you Wednesday morning. That's when we started discussing you guys need to get Everything that you just you can understand the okay. So it sounds to me like Dwayne <coughs> found out about this on Wednesday that she finally had to break down. She wasn't going to be able to keep this under wraps. I think he was there before Wednesday, but I feel like that's when they started to talk about what she needed to do. Uh-huh. And he said, you need to give all of this to them. That's what yeah. I'm picking up. But I think he knew it before one. Day. And then the then Co- then Kevin says, well, you understand, you know, why why we need these. And he, he keeps reiterating, we want to cross-reference what we already know. Importance of... Oh, no question. We were... Like I said, people lie, phone yeah. records don't... Um, and I think really she told them specifically um, established dates and times. Mm-hmm. I think we are, have a very good grip on that in this case already, but there may be a time when we go, we need to know something else, and then we would have it. We don't want to lose it, and that's that's really what it is for us. Is If we lose information that later on we go, man, I wish we would have got that, and we may never even use these. We may never even look at them, but if if we have it now, then we don't worry about losing it. So I appreciate you being cooperative and giving it to us. Yeah. So the first thing I wrote was text messages between Chris Watts and attachments. Okay, so because we're talking about the photographs, unfortunately, that cause you much disdain. <laughs> and then I am going to put a phone log. You like how he giggled at her and she's like, I'm not fucking laughing, dude. Okay, like, did you know she's she has a like, clicker I'm... in his hand? She's like, I'm talking about my damn nudes, okay? I don't want my nudes out there. And he's laughing, and she's like, fuck you. Do you what? Notice he has a clicker. He has a clicker in his right hand. Who? The dad. He's Watch fit- him. You can he hear it. He fidgets the whole time. He mm-hmm. has that you thing. You can hear him clicking it when when prompted. Listen, just listen now and pay attention to that clicker noise. Listen, Linda. Someone else just caught it in. What do you mean too. prompted? Watch, watch, watch when he clicks. Watch. 
Just oh my now God. pay attention to that clicker. Stop Someone it. else noticed it in chat too. All right. Do Not I, even kidding. Let me rewind. I know he had that in his hand, something in his hand. Mm-hmm. He moved he's Watch. fidgeting the whole time. We never even Listen really it. good. So if if we have it now, then we don't worry about leaving it. So I appreciate you being cooperative and giving it to us. Yeah. So the first thing I wrote was text messages between Chris Watts and attachments. Okay, so because we're talking about the photographs, unfortunately, that cause you much disdain. <laughs> and then I am going to put a phone log for calls between uh, yourself and Chris Watts. Your phone number is seven two zero. And this right now is located at, we're at the Thornton Police Department. It's going to be moved to my, so this is kind of, doesn't make sense, but we're here. It's going to be moved to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. He's going to download it here, but I'm going to take it with me, just so you know. It's not staying here. For calls between... And this right now is located at, we're at the Thornton Police Department. It's going to be moved to my, so this is kind of, doesn't make sense, but we're here. It's going to be moved to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. He's going to download it here, but I'm going to take it with me. Just so you know, it's not staying here. Okay. They're not going to retain any of this. This comes with me. Okay. 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 I think that might be a pen or something. Are you talking about like a clicker for... Like, to alert someone? Like, I'm confused. Yeah, it's a square black thing. It's not a pen. Everyone was saying that. Could it be a pen that he's clicking? It's not a pen, though. If you looked prior, it's a little black square box. I can't see it well enough. I don't know. He has it in his hands. Like, he has his hands by his crotch during most of the interview, like I skipped over the three hours like really fast and just watched him. And he has that in his hands the whole time. He's always moving. So maybe he's a fidgeter. Mm -hmm. And his phone like nonstop. His phone's going off. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably his wife. And he's writing writing big, huge things too. I tried to zoom in, but obviously I couldn't see. Okay. So she's, she's reluctant. And I think the only reason that she's reluctant right now is because those nudes. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want people seeing them either. But there's been a murder. Like, hand that stuff over. Like, you're going to have to swallow it. Yeah. <coughs> I, I try to put myself in her shoes. And, and I just can't. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know what my priorities would be. I mean, we're looking at this. This is on the 16th of August. The murders occurred my, three days prior yeah. to this. My thing is, though, like, that would be the least of my worries. There's there's children dead. I understand. I just don't know if I would be in protective mode of myself at that moment. Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah. wouldn't have any skin in the game, so to speak, as far as the murders go, because if I didn't wasn't involved, but what I do have is the Colorado Bureau of Investigations getting nudes of me. Because mm-hmm. she even says, I don't want these posted anywhere. Yeah, exactly. I was just about to say, she's probably worrying that they would get out somewhere and and they'd be there forever then. And like, they'd be late. Get away from them. Because she was already worried about her rep, about getting a job, about being mm-hmm. able to be respected at work. She's worked so hard to get her position, and she hated to lose it. I mean, she had a lot at stake that the bitch didn't think about when she got involved in this relationship. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't think she thought, because she didn't want to tell her friends, because they wouldn't approve. She reluctantly told uh, Charlotte, and Charlotte was all judgy, because she had gotten, her parents had gotten divorced after an affair, so Charlotte Mm -hmm. was not down with her being with a married man. So it was kind of like Nicole's little secret. And then it backfired big time. Yeah. 
So how do we know that she's just not a really, really unlucky mistress? I don't know. She's definitely not likable. I mean, she's definitely not likable. No. But man, you know, I have to think, what do you guys, here's the loaded question. What do you guys think would have come of Nicole if there had been a trial? What do you think Nicole's part in a trial against Chris Watts would have been? Interesting question. Yeah, I mean, hop in whoever wants, whoever has a thought. Because I think she would have probably been the star witness. And well, yeah, she would have been. I mean, she was the closest to him and she was. And as the star witness in a quadruple murder, she probably, Roberta, would have been protected. Mm -hmm. Before Deering, I think a lot more would have come out though. Before Deering, yeah, they would have. Oh, a lot would, would have pulled come. everything. We probably they wouldn't would be sitting everything. here right now. We wouldn't be sitting here questioning this case if we had a trial. Like I promise a, you. Uh, I promise you. A uh, clip I sent you and I kind of labeled it was like what I thought was something interesting. Her dad said was if he just pleads out and he pleads guilty will this all go away like whatever and she won't have to go to court and it's just done mm -hmm. and that's exactly what he did yeah, that's what happened <laughs> they were already talking plea deal when they were sitting yeah. with nicole kessinger right now they were yeah. already yeah. coming mm -hmm. up with a plea deal for chris watts they wanted to wrap this up really yeah. quickly mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you heard Dwayne. you want to accelerate this case <laughs> Yep. Let's yeah. get this done and over with, man. Let's nope. We don't want mm -hmm. too much attention. Let's get it done and over with. You can have what you yeah. want and off I, her phone, but we need to accelerate this shit. Mm -hmm. And I think they really botched it with not. I mean, like when his defense team went there and there was no marker showing that they looked at anything mm -hmm. is crazy to me. Wait, crazy. say that again. His defense team got a right to go to the house. Mm -hmm. to right. like review things and when they interviewed them they said there was not one marker showing that they marked anything for evidence there was no markers anywhere yeah and then they closed down the crime scene and letting people in and stuff letting so people in. they could yep. never go back to it again like yep. it was done from that moment yep <clears throat> so i think they knew they knew it wasn't going to go to trial and they knew that it was going to be pushed to a plea deal yeah i think they botched it and they did things like when like when they were taking all the girls as bedding it's crime scene 101 yeah. you don't put things in plastic mm -hmm. you don't put things in plastic it's your cross contamination things mold things get wet they everything's supposed to be in paper they were just yeah. shoving all their bedding everything in big garbage bags yeah we saw him carrying those out yeah. yep which is actually i think no -no. i just showed it i think it was on that yeah. um next site or whatever which is a huge no no yeah. i mean i i i don't know i think there i i don't know i think there could have been a lot more especially with her pinging there i just i think it would we would have a totally different uh... the ping is bothersome that's always bothered me so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that bother that has always always bothered me because that woman, I think there'd be a lot more people in jail. <clears throat> she took the same route to work every day. And on her phone bill that we had a copy of, there was no other pings in Frederick, Colorado. No. Nope. Nope. And I think her jealous, crazy ass went there that morning to see if he was really going to stand by his word and break up with her. And she went there to see what was going on. Yeah. I think with any case like this, though, that there should never be a plea deal. Like, it should always go to trial. Mm hmm Now, do we have, um, I and I know we would have to go back and look, but we have her phone records. Did she try to call Chris that morning? And he didn't yes. answer? Yes. And he didn't answer. And then she pinged in that location. So that might be why she drove by there. Is mm -hmm. This could be, she could have been totally innocent. 
He could have said, <laughs> it's over. I promise you, it's done. Da, da 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 She said she did a FaceTime with him that night. He was weird. He was just staring at her. His eyes were dark. He didn't look right. She felt creeped out by him. He didn't say anything. He was just staring at her on FaceTime. Laying on the bed with no sheets. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Now, that to me, all right, I don't remember what I was saying before that. Oh, the ping. So what if he said, you know what? It's it's over. And he was getting in his mind. I've, I, That's my only way out. It's my only way out. But would you just show up at his house knowing his wife was home? But what if she was trying to call him and she was like, is he even going to work? Or is mm-hmm. he staying yes. home getting snuggled up with his wife mm-hmm. and his kids who have been gone and they're all one big happy now because she's back because <clears throat> he told her, we're not going to be able to see each other as much, but I'll try to see you as much as I can. She went from having him at her beck and call. He didn't even mm-hmm. stay at the house for those six weeks. He stayed with yeah. her. Yeah. She <laughs> had him. By the balls until Shanann came back. Mm-hmm. So it could have been, hey, this is an ultimatum. Mm-hmm. You you, you take care of this tonight or I'm yeah. done. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think not, too. And he was like, how in the hell am I going to take care of this? Because mm-hmm. Sh- Shanann is, and you hear her, you hear it Nicole. Is, uh... We have to stand down. Thank you, Leo Tech. She said, I love a sister panel with y'all are on point to what I'm thinking. What's up with the ping? Um, mm-hmm. But she, um, I, I lost my train of thought now. No, I, I think you're right that she, he gave her, she gave him an ultimatum and then yep. he didn't respond and she went there. I think she went there to see if he was in fact with her snuggled up that mm-hmm. she didn't leave the house. You know, he could have told her, I'm going to kick her out or I'm going to leave. And she went there and to see if his truck was there. You know, is his truck there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But didn't they talk every morning as well? Yeah. One morning they didn't speak. So she could have been worried that something had happened as well. And she didn't go into work. She didn't clock in till noon. Yeah. That was the day that she, quote unquote, forgot. Forgot to punch in. Yeah. He went to work. After killing every, annihilating his entire family, he went to work, but she forgot to clock in. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've got another loaded question. Okay, potato first. Do you think mm-hmm. that Chris Watts is the type of guy who would take a murder conviction solely for his mistress? Um, No, I don't think so. Do you think that he would take the the fall if they both were involved? Nope. I really don't. Because that's his whole life gone. Like, why would he do that? For someone that he'd been with for six Because he was pussy whipped? But six weeks. He was pussy whipped. And he's going to give up his whole life to protect someone that he knew for six weeks. Well, he, he's, well, for all intents and purposes, he killed his family for this girl he knew for six weeks. Yep. Yeah, I just think after this long as well, like he's had such a long time. I don't think he would sit in prison protecting her for his whole life. Interesting. Maligator? It would have come out eventually. Well, an article just came out. Now, I don't know if it's true or not because all these inmates, I don't believe them. Inmates that oh. were in with him. This new guy just came out and said, oh, he blames her. Da, 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 da. But was it a new guy or was it David Carter? Because I saw that it was David. Is, is that the same guy from before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was just a repeat. Yeah. I was confused on that because I was like, wait a minute. I thought I heard that name Carter before. Yeah, because it said that it was a new one and like it was a new thing that was coming out. And then I went into one of the articles and it was David Carter. So, I mean, so I might be wrong. Maybe someone in chat knows, but I think. No, I thought it was that same guy too. And I was like, wait a minute. Maybe I'm mistaken. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is. He's changing his story. He's changing his story. What was David Carter's first first account? Was it the same thing about NK? I don't remember. 
I don't know. There's been a that he couple. would do anything for her and that he would protect her. And, and in my opinion, 100%. Because his first thing was, it was when he even going to court, he wanted to make sure his lawyers apologized and got a message to her that w- that would not be my first concern. He was very I mean, concerned with her. Very concerned yes, and, with her. And she and she was at the courthouse. We don't she know that for sure court. though. We don't know that but, for sure. And I think that she probably is still corresponding. I think in the beginning anyway. I don't know Chris about now, did but I think say, in the beginning. Chris did say to his family that he thought when he was sentenced and was led out of the courtroom that back there that he had walked by and saw Mm -hmm. Nicole Kessinger in a doorway and that she smirked at him Mm -hmm. and that Mm -hmm. he asked, why is she here? Why is she here? Mm -hmm. I kind of think the man could have been in major like psychosis, to be honest with you. Yeah. I possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really, really do. I mean, he had been in solitary all by himself on suicide watch that's enough to drive someone crazy right there. Mm-hmm. Secondly, well, he, he's being if, completely just, you know, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. You need to do this. You need to do that. And he's a yes, sir kind of guy. So he was mm-hmm. going with it. He was going with whatever. So I just feel, I don't know. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut mm-hmm. you off. No, it's okay. My thing is like, I mean, I feel like the, Chris is the kind of guy that lets women kind of take control of his life and I yeah. think with Shanann she she did I mean god bless her soul like I'm not saying anything bad about her but she was a very like very controlled person in her life she had to have things a certain way she lived her life a certain way and I think that Nicole got him out of that everyday routine and let him live and let him go to the dunes and they had I think she had things in common with him in my opinion because she researched him and that's yep. what let he up felt to it. free he felt free yeah she knew and, I, and she knew his struggles at home because he told her in depth what his struggles were for sure and we don't know that she didn't tell him I won't stand by you like I'll be here for you and I think that 100% that's why he went against his own family and said, I'm pleading. I did this. I don't want a trial. I think, I mean, even for your own parents, you just go to trial and you do it. Even if you did it, you say you did it, let them do it in trial. But I think a hundred percent, he'd take the fall for her in a minute. I think she had that much control over him. I do too. For him to have that's killed why his I kid. find it interesting that Potato's like, mm-hmm. absolutely not. No, yeah, no, I, I still don't think so. He killed his kids and put them in an oil tank and his unborn son. And you don't think he would protect her? Well, I, I don't think that's even it. I think if you look at Chris Watts and <clears throat> how he has allowed himself to be treated over the years, um. I, and I'm going to say it like it is. He was not the man of the house. Let's no. be real here. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he would allow himself to be treated that way tells me that he pretty much would lie down and take anything in the name of love. Even for these new girls that are getting on his list. Sure. He, he falls right in, doesn't he? Every time. Right in. Hook, right line, in. and sinker. Yes. Yes. I think 100% he would do it. And now he's not going to take it back. I mean, at this point, no. No, he's not going to throw her under the bus now. She's she's Mm -mm. done. He wants her to live her life, whatever, if that's the case. I don't think there's any way in H-E double hockey sticks that he's going to come out and say that she did anything. And I think even if she were to reach out to him now, he would be like, oh, my God, salivating for her. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. I think he still loves her. As a matter of fact, I think he has said that. I think he told KK that, that he was still, he still loved her. That you just can't turn that off. So, I mean, that says a lot to me. 
So do you guys think that NK was involved, like, in the murders? I'm not sold on that, no. Because that's, that's where I'm coming from. I, I don't think that she was involved. I don't think she was involved in the murders, but I think she helped him cover it. Because know. there is no way in the amount of time we need that to do a he poll. left there, yeah. that he left there and dug a four inch hole for Shanann and got up into two tanks to get rid of each of the girls and the amount of time he had. Unless he went all the night before and did all that. Because think about what time he went to work and what time people arrived. And you tell me in that 45 minutes that he buried a three-inch hole. I mean, unless he had some major adrenaline, killed his kids because so-called they were alive. He killed them, he said, at the site. So he suffocated both of them at the site, then drug them up into each tank, which is however many steps. Then you got to get them in, get back down, make sure all your stuff cleaned up, and then work. I mean, you have to be like a master. Okay, but if, then if you go to the other side, like if it was really premeditated and pre-planned, what if he had already gone to the site and dug that hole already? That's what I'm saying, unless he did it the night before. He wouldn't have yeah. been able to do it during the day because if people were out there, it would have been the night before. Mm -hmm. And if NK was involved, then that means that there's two people that are capable of doing this, happening to meet and after six weeks do all this together. Like, And I don't think she killed them, but I do believe the way she acts and her demeanor I don't know like sometimes you just get this the gut and my gut tells me like she was obsessed with him he was obsessed with her and I think she would have helped him get rid of them and would make sense why all of a sudden her and Jim were sick and didn't want to I mean I don't know I, I I I just I think she had a part in the end game that's just my opinion though you know, a lot of people yeah. think that, too, because of her um, line of work as well, like her position within Change the company. Change the bullet in, in the murders, because I don't think she murdered them. Well, no, I want to know if people think that she was okay. involved in okay. the murders. Okay. okay. I think she and was definitely the, the catalyst or mm -hmm. the reason or a reason for Chris to maybe get out of this marriage this way instead of oh, divorce. Sure. Yeah. But I'm asking, do you... do people in chat think that she was physically there physically involved in some way shape or form with the murders and that means everything to do with the murders killing them disposing of them whatever baby boss has a good point as well they say why doesn't nk remember anything about the 111 minute phone call that's so funny i was just gonna say that too yeah i mean that is a good point like you would remember at least some of it yeah she's mm -hmm. got no she's got no recollection of that Neither of them do. Mm -mm. That's a long time. So that just means that neither of them want to talk about what they spoke about in that conversation. Correct. And why? What could be in that conversation that neither of them want out? And how convenient none of their security cameras were working and said they were all happened to be down. Like, I just, I don't know. I think she could have said some really shitty things that would look really bad like if you listen back on it or saw the text that she'd been saying and... or to see how many times she was there because we don't know because shanann kept pressing on to him get the cameras fixed get the cameras fixed and he was in no rush he didn't want them fixed because if she was coming over that's my thing okay mm -hmm. while she was coming over there on the 4th of july and on the 14th of july i think that was the same time frame when shanann was like why isn't the shit working Mm -hmm. Because he knew she was going to look. And I think she was coming in the back on the ring. Because the ring would have picked her up coming in the front. And Shanann would have seen that. Because, like, I see everything on my ring. I think, mm -hmm. honestly, I think he had moved Shanann's Lexus out, like ne like Nate said. And I think she was pulling into the garage. That's you would see, Mike, my, my ring, though, picks up, like, the whole there, block of my street. It wasn't working, though. That's what Shanann was complaining about. The ring was working. About. The because... inside stuff wasn't working. Yeah, I don't the know. Ring, the ring was working. <laughs> it was the inside ones, the ones where you open the door and it tells you where the Well, he put sentence. her Lexus in the street for a reason, and I think mm -hmm. that he was pulling in or something 
something was going on in that garage. I mean, Mm -hmm. in order to maybe pull someone in and then they can get out in the garage and go inside. So they're not seen outside, right? I mean, why else would he he park her Lexus outside for days? And depending on who set the ring up, if it was him or her, they could disable it for a few minutes. Like I, like I can turn off my notifications. So I'm not, it's not like giving me dings every two minutes, but I have constant camera footage. So, I mean, I don't think there was anything with the ring. I think she, it was the inside one. I can't remember what that computer or alarm system she had in there. Um, That's what she was saying was faulty. I thought it was all connected. I, I thought that no. all of that alarm, no. ring, all no, that would be is, together. Mm-mm. No, ring is different than the one that they had in the house. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it picked her up when she got home at 2 a.m. So yeah. if it wasn't working, it wouldn't have been working. No, the no, no. I know, it picked her, I know it picked her up in August. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about mm-hmm. when she was in North Carolina and she was keeping an eye on the house. Yeah, but Vivint, that's what someone just said. Vivint. Yeah, Vivint, Vivint is was, the one that was inside. Right. But what I'm saying is I thought they were all intertwined so that you don't have to open up 50 uh-uh. different apps. Like you can put all of your stuff on your Vivint. No. Together. Uh-uh. Ring is ring. Vivint is Vivint. So Vivint would have been all the doors that were open. The cameras are motion inside and the ring is just for the front of the house. Gotcha. Okay. Is this? No, that's not what I wanted to play. Hold on. I have another clip. Here it is. Okay, ready? Towards yeah. me. But no, he. I think that's why I no, gave him. No, he. I think that's why I gave him the benefit of the doubt so long. Like, he has always been such a civil, gentle man to me. And he's always been pretty calm and, like, level headed when he talks about, the di- like, the differences between him and his wife. And I mean,. That's a sensitive subject, and he never, ever seemed like he was, like, aggressive about it. I mean, he was always just, like, chill, and he never talked ill of his children. He was always so bubbly about them, like, those were his babies. So when all of this happened, I was just like, what the fuck? And So that brings me to a question real quick. I mean, you got, you, I don't think anybody over the last six or eight weeks knows this dude better than you. I really don't. You guys probably spent more time together than anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, conversation, whatever, relationship. Um, what do you think, what's the catalyst for this event? Do you have any, have you had, and I, I know it's a hard question, but I want to get it out now we're here. If, if there's a thought that you have um, that might lead us to understand a little bit why he might have done something like this. Um, like I said, I don't, I met Chris on, on Wednesday. Um, so I don't know Chris, not like you do. Um, you know, I've thought about this and sometimes I think to myself, if I wasn't in that man's life, would his family still be alive? And I've thought about this a lot, and I think I could give myself different responses. But in all honesty, I think they might be alive, but not permanently. I do not think that this man just snapped. I don't think that he just met some fucking amazing woman and he was just gonna try to fucking murder his family and then think that I was okay with, like, building a relationship with somebody who did something like that. Like, at what fucking point? You know, and not only that, like, I always try to say, you know, like, when we get to a point where we've been together long enough, I would love to meet your children. Like, I never discluded them from anything. Like, I remember coming back from Colorado Springs, and I was like, oh my god, they got the Cheyenne Zoo down here, you gotta take your kids, and like, the you can feed the giraffes, and they would love it, and like, I always try to like, inf- like, show him cool things, like, hey man, would your kids like this? Because my nephew would like this. Like, check this out, you know, Burger. like, send him a screenshot of some rainbow u- unicorn lucky charms the other day. It was like, do your daughters know about these? Because I bet these are epic. <laughs> like, little things like that where it's like, like, genuinely, like, I care. I do. Like, despite how messy this is and how I'm sh- All right. Thoughts? I could hear all that on my, on my ear now this time. <laughs> yeah, because it's a video. I shared it a day. Okay. Way. So, okay. thoughts? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she's showing emotion to me. She's cussing. She's pissed. Sounds like to me. She's also getting really high pitched. <laughs> Screechy. Mm-hmm. It hurt she's my really ears. to listen to you. It, it hurt my ears. It does hurt your ears. I know. It hurts the old British ears. <laughs> we have, we're so proper. That is 
language we do not speak over here. No cuss The words, queen would not approve. <laughs> it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's not pleasant, you peasant. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think, and credit to Plunder <clears throat> for this extra hour. Potato, do you want to kind of explain what happened there with her interviews? Because I know we were like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I ended up listening to them like side by side because I noticed there was an hour missing. And apparently it had been released with an hour cut off the end of the interview. And then they re-released it and Pl Plunder put it out there with the, I think it had the text and stuff in the discovery, but not, there was, it wasn't on the actual audio recording. Yeah, weird. So we were yeah, like, so where did it pick up? Where did it drop off? You know, so Plunder yeah. had gotten and started a video, her actual video starts where the video we all know, the two hour one, two hour 20 minutes, pick, like dropped off. Mm -hmm. So what they did, you guys, and this is so bizarre. Why do this? So they released two hours and 20 minutes of video with audio, right? Yep. And then just spliced it mid-sentence of NK. Yeah. And where they cut it as well, like she was saying, I just like, oh my like, god! When one of my friends is gone, I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, they got murdered, and they cut off the bit where it says they got murdered. Mud. Yes, Why would you cut it at that bit? Yes, at that bit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, and then she goes on to talk about the baby and stuff as well, and that that whole thing was just yes. Yeah. So what we got that last hour was on paper. It was a transcript. Yeah. Reading it mm -hmm. on paper is so different. Yep. than hearing it mm -hmm. and seeing it especially that bit that you just played as well because i could hear a little bit of resentment like she sounded angry when she was she's talking. pissed i think yeah. she's pissed that she's even sitting there yeah. having to deal with this mm -hmm. but i think more pissed than she is like i don't sadness i don't th i think yeah. she's completely disconnected from those kids and his wife completely I think yeah. she's got zero, she gives zero fucks. I'm just going to say it. I think mm -hmm. she gives zero fucks. The only person she cares about is Chris. Those kids yeah. weren't around during their six weeks. She doesn't know them from Adam. She's never heard them. She's never seen them. She's never done anything with them. She don't give a rat's ass. She wants mm -hmm. to give them a boy. Yeah. And earlier on as well in, in that interview, she was saying... Like, when your kids are there, you should just go and chill with your kids. And it was the way that she said it. Mm -hmm. Like, there was resentment in that statement. So yep. I don't think she really wanted him to do that, but she was just resenting the fact that he had to do that. Yep. But yet said she loves plants and she would love to teach the girls how to garden and all of that. Yeah, so which is it? That. Which is it? Well, I mean, she's going to talk herself up, you know, make yeah. it and make it seem like, hey, you know, I wasn't a bitch. You know, even if she thinks she was a bitch, she might feel guilty. And be like retracting that, like mm -hmm. I really wasn't. I I wasn't. I inc I never didn't include them. You know, it's almost like she's trying to convince herself of that. Yeah, well, it's really easy to say the words, but it's really hard to hide the emotion behind them. Right. She's saying the right things, but her anger like a... is not fitting with mm -hmm. what she's saying. Yeah, there's a disconnect between her feelings and yep. what she's actually saying. I honestly think that she just really acted like Shanann and those girls didn't exist. I think they both did during those six mm -hmm. weeks. And I think when they came back, it was like a, a door slammed in their face. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Total game changer. Total. I mean, it went from we can do whatever we want. I'm, we're playing house over here at my apartment. Like she said, this is my space. I told him, I don't want to go to your house. We, mm -hmm. You come here. This is my space. This is our space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she lured him over there. And he went every day like a little pussy whipped boy. It's what he yeah. did. It's what he did. Out of sight, out of mind for his two little girls and his wife. Out of sight, out of and mind. I'm, and I'm sorry, like, whether he did it, she did it, he had accomplices, no matter what, he sh he is where he belongs because yeah. those were his children and he was supposed to protect them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to disagree with that at all, at all. Yeah. 
But I think analyzing this girl and and kind of I need like I need closure on this, okay? Because mm-hmm. I've always like blown it off, but I can't ignore things anymore because so much yeah. more has come out, and I just I need to go over it. And I don't know what I'm gonna walk away when we're done, you know, looking at all of this. I don't know what I'm gonna feel like, but I find things like this to be things that will never be resolved in this case. And yeah. for many years to come, when there is a true crime discussion on the Watts case, this will be one of the theories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was saying, like, right from the very beginning, I kind of ignored Nicole because I didn't think that she was involved at all. Me so too. I didn't even pay attention to anything that she was saying. Like, I listened to the interviews and stuff, but I didn't really think about it because I was like, no, she wasn't involved. I'm not even going to go there. But I, I know that a lot of people thing. do think, I know a lot of people do think, I think the poll shows that the majority of people do think that she was involved. And you know what's funny is that because like running the podcast, like I never, I had all these people wanting to talk about Kessinger. Let's do it live about Kessinger. And yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't think mm-hmm. she did anything. And, yeah, you were totally against Oh that. my yeah. God. And you know, shame <laughs> on me because I learned something not to <laughs> overlook, you know, because I learned that through the summer case, too, that a lot of people were looking at other things when I was looking at, you know, this. And then when we all kind of put it all together, it all just came together. And the same goes for this, except Mm -hmm. I'm four years behind. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you've got to be open minded to everything, don't you? Otherwise, you miss really important things. Yeah. You can't have a whole picture. You have to look at every aspect, no matter what. But, you know, I think it goes to show, okay, that we need to have a lot of respect for investigators who have to put all this shit together in a short amount of time. It took me four years. Mm -hmm. Right. To to sift through all of this. And and I'm spending far more time than they are. You know, that's an that's an eight to five job, whatever. I'm spending far more time reading, analyzing. I've got so many heads I've got hundreds and thousands of people on YouTube with ideas and um, picking up things that I didn't see. Like we have so much of an advantage of seeing more Mm -hmm. information and they have to solve these things in a short amount of time. It really puts it in perspective for me because I, if I had to look at all of that at once, I don't know how you decipher all that. So that's, it just kind of put that whole investigation in perspective for me, not this investigation, I mean, investigations that I feel go the right way. I don't think this mm-hmm. one did from day one. Yeah. And you're right. Yeah. I don't think he should have been able to plea. I think that there should have been a no, trial. I definitely I agree. Not in any mm-hmm. case like this. Like, there's too much at stake. Like, you have to, it has to be done properly. Otherwise, you end up with this situation where everyone's still talking about it years down the line. And it's never gonna, it's never gonna stop. And, like, how did they, like, like, that's the thing is, like, what evidence what did they process like in that two days like there's no way they had 100 percent anything in two days like there there's so much more they could have looked into i mean it was literally like boom 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 like i don't know and i yeah, think but, if they would have done well, a little more it wouldn't have we still won't be but it's to, not even but it's not even about i mean it's not even about that really if you break it down and you look back at chris's confession he yeah. never confessed to killing yeah. all of them i was just about to say that the only thing he confessed to was shanann he never yeah. said that he did anything to the children and then, it, then was it comes out yep. yeah it comes out straight away and it was over here in our news as well like straight away the next morning that he had murdered his whole family so i think but then he confessed in wisconsin yeah but that was months later ages afterwards though Mm -hmm. so So i think the leak lied right so we should be outraged Mm -hmm. that someone within the district attorney's office or the sheriff's department or the whatever the city police department somebody leaked that information Mm -hmm. and it was incorrect there was no investigation. There was no admittance of, oh, whoops, nope, sorry, we got to retract that because Mr. Watts did not confess to killing his two girls. Yeah. Now that people should be outraged about because 
Tammy it was... Lee. Who? Tammy oh, you Lee. just said who leaked it. <laughs> oh, Tammy. Oh, Tammy Lee. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we should be we should be outraged at that. Mm-hmm. Because that wasn't what happened behind those doors. And we see that that's not what happened. Why aren't people pissed? And she said he failed his lie detector. But what did she ask him? But they, they can say that they failed when they didn't as well. Yeah, they don't well, have to tell She walked right the in truth. the room and said, you failed. Yeah, they we do know. that. They get that th- that's how they get you to confess, mm-hmm. right? If they think, I mean, oh, lie detectors, I'm like screwed. they're only... They're only used as a tool for investigation. So she can go in there and say, you failed. And he'll go, oh, shit. Like, I might as well say. But he I'm... still kept saying, I didn't kill my kids. Yeah, he never admitted to it. So but I think then that... came out Cause... on TV and said, he just confessed. Yeah, I think it's because he showed where they were. So they're like, well, you know where they were. So it mm-hmm. was all on you. But that's not oh. what he said, though. That's not what he said. No, it's not what he said. But he, he knew because... where they were. Right, but just because he knew where they were doesn't mean that he he was the one that ended their life. No. And that's what leaves the unanswered questions, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, almost like the DA think, okay, so let me just, let's talk about this for just one second. I think that back in the day before social media, that plea bargains were to protect victims from having to go through, relive it, whatnot, the turmoil, how long it takes, you know, to go through a trial. And that was mm-hmm. how D.A. Rourke introduced it to the Rusex, in my opinion. Yeah. And in doing so, it did not help any nope. closure in the case. It did not help the victims of this case, in my opinion. No, because now we're four years down the line and you've got Frank coming out saying that he's being tormented every day with right. speculation and stuff. So, yeah, it didn't ever go away. It, was, it didn't solve anything by not doing a trial. And I think now with people being able to follow these crimes basically in real time, yeah, that plea bargains are going to lead to speculation and, yeah. you know, people forever, you know, you, coming up with their own theories. That's mm-hmm. just what happens. I mean, people theorize on hundreds of cases every day. I've yeah. never yeah. seen victims try to take down like a platform because it's being discussed in a way they don't Mm -hmm. like yeah and there's very few of these cases that actually go to trial as well like most of them are plea deals Mm -hmm. it's like you almost hope that they just do a new trial to give these people peace yeah but would that give them peace are they gonna have peace i mean shanann bella and celeste and nico are gone Mm-hmm. they're gone but just to like prove the whole situation maybe then people would be like okay this is it get her up there put her on the stand be done and let it rest well, I, I don't see. think this case will ever rest and I don't think plea deals help at all I think it just shuts everybody out and the family out and you don't really know what happened mm-hmm I think even if well, there was a trial like now, I don't think that it's going to stop anything because everyone's gone too far into speculating. Stuff. Yeah, so they're too if, far. They're in too deep with their beliefs yeah. and what they so, think happened. Yeah, so if it was proven that Nicole did nothing, I don't think that it would make people believe that she did nothing anyway. But let me just say this too. Even in plea deals, we usually, are, the discovery is supposed to tell a story, okay? So when we get that discovery, we should be able to look at it and go, oh, all of this makes sense. This is how it went down. His doesn't. That's why there's nope. that's why None. there's un- unanswered questions left and right. None. There's so many things that don't make sense. But And they didn't release everything. And I want to say, too, about, you know, the Rusex and them coming out and they want to take YouTube on and all of this stuff. Um, I just feel like this case is going to be talked about Mm -hmm. and I don't think it's personal towards them when it is. And I think they're taking it very personal and I just don't know what the answer is for that because you're not going to be able to stop people from talking about true crimes. It's Mm -hmm. just, I mean, and now even more so, I mean, 
we've got true crime podcasts coming out of our ears. And when there's open ended questions like Chris's original confession not being reiterated to the public correctly. And then all of a sudden he does a five hour surprise interview and admits that he did it in a totally, you know, it was totally different scenario. Yeah. But also didn't know he was being recorded. Well, he knew he was being recorded, but he was told it wouldn't be released. Yeah. Yeah, so, they said it wasn't going anywhere. They told him it was for the Rue sex to have closure. Mm-hmm, so yeah. in my eyes, mm-hmm. it makes sense why he would state that the way he did. Mm-hmm. Now, if he was saying, no, I did not kill my girls. He was, he was adamant mm-hmm. that he did not hurt his girls. But that was never explored. Nope. Never they, explored. They weren't interested. They didn't want to hear it. Now, nope. if you t- think about what Frank is coming out saying, we're getting death threats. We're being accused of having something to do with it. They may be. I have never heard that myself. But one thing mm-hmm. I've never heard them address is what Chris claimed in his original confession. Mm-hmm. And they don't owe anyone any explanation but i've never heard it addressed but i've heard a lot of other things addressed you know that ad has said that you know this creator has said or that creator has said but i've never i i just think that all of this could be so much easier if obviously they spoke out they went on numerous youtube channels they're in numerous chats just explain to us their side Mm-hmm. You know, no fronts, just, I I don't know. It just seems like it could be so much easier than going through this for four years. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, because Frank at one point said, Junior said, they watched them carry out their family in garbage bags. You know what I mean? So, like, mm-hmm. they kind of opened that door where they said they seen it, but did they really see it? Like, was that a made-up thing? And it's one thing for us to talk about the case and discuss it because it is true crime and it is what YouTubers do. But if people are giving them death threats or saying that they had something to do with it, I think that is terrible. And oh, it's wrong for doing, sure. I'm just people saying. need to stop doing that. But if they clarified more of the case of what they do know, I think maybe if they could prove, no, this is how we know, this is what we know, maybe it would give a little bit more peace of mind. Right. I mean, and I'm not saying they owe anybody that. But Mm -hmm. when, you know, they're going after a platform itself because of misinformation and conspiracies, I mean, I just, I'm playing a video right from his son's YouTube that has 174,000 views on it. So, I don't know. I mean... I don't mm-hmm. know. She does not know. <laughs> Let's does, keep playing. Know. Let's keep know. playing. He does not her. know. Okay. I've got another clip. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. You, okay. Be, be right back. But no, he. Okay. Here we go. And then after this one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to pull up my footage of the house. Do I have to play some of my clips or I'm going to be stopped? <laughs> well, this is, I'm going to, this isn't the only night. Oh, okay. I can't go through all this in one night. There's no way. I was going to say, no, I sent you 10. There's three <laughs> and a half hours of yeah. passenger. Yeah. Okay. So is it is... true the house was sold? Is that a thing? It is not sold. No, the house okay. is not sold. Okay. It is. Oh, that's what I wanted to clear up. The house was, someone was arguing with me in my comment section. Chris did sign ownership, and I put that in air quotes, over Mm -hmm. to Frank Sr. of the house. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, well, the bank owns it. The bank owns it. Well, no shit, right? There's obviously a mortgage on it that hasn't been paid. That's in default. The taxes have been paid, I think. I looked at the bills. Those are, I don't know if the bank's paying the taxes. I don't know who's paying the taxes. At any rate, the house is worth almost $800,000. So... I don't know what they owe on it, but the $6 million lien was removed after Chris 
which he did. It's called a quit claim deed. And he was the grantor signing it over to the grantee, right? So the grantor would be the property owner signing it over to the grantee. So hold up, Jay. We need to address this Vicky. Shenanda this Vicky. We did not say at all. No, we're not arguing. That, we're not arguing with anybody about well, Shenanda. saying that we hurt, that she hurt her children. No one has ever said that. No one said Wait, that. Wait, what? In this. She said Shanann did not hurt her children. No one said Shanann hurt her children. Yeah, they did. Chris did. That's exactly no, what I mean, he said. In, tonight. That's, tonight. Well, in that's what lives. we were talking about. Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, we were just discussing what. Chris's yeah, what confession was originally that Shanann hurt the girls and he killed Shanann. Yes, we yeah. did. Yeah, we did. Oh, but we're not saying that. We are. No, I'm saying us. that's in yeah. the discovery. That's yeah. his confession. Yeah. Yes. But if you go to Denver Denver 9, it'll say that he confessed to all of them. That was our point. He didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying okay. he did or didn't Sorry. do it. I'm just saying, yeah, that's his confession. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. A lot of people don't. They just know what the news said. And they don't realize that the, that the news had the wrong info. Mm -hmm. It was fake news. And, you know, I just have to think if that was my brother, I would want the, to know the truth. If that was my brother, I wouldn't want the media saying um, he did something when he's clearly saying he didn't. Mm -hmm. And it's important to pick up on things like that and talk about it as well, because it shows that things weren't done properly and like things need to be done properly for real justice. So, And no one was held accountable for that lie. No. And you know why? Because yeah. they don't care because they mm -hmm. look at Chris as a baby killer. And once you're labeled a baby killer, no one gives a shit about what happens to you. No. Yeah. no one cares about what happens to you in the justice system. No one cares about what happens to you. You're you're a baby killer who threw your kids in oil. Don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much where he's at. Yep. Yep. I don't know, man. That that's crazy to me. And I yeah. do I would love to hear what they asked him on his polygraph and I would love to hear what he said. Through what his, do you like, mean? We did real, see the polygraph. We, we watched. No, but like, what's the questions that she asked him? We saw the whole thing. Yeah. She just but asked him simple questions. It, she didn't ask him if you killed your kids. No, no, she didn't. That's what I'm saying. I would have loved to see that. Like, ask, did you kill your kids? She didn't. No. No, and she I think never that straight was, up asked him that. Should have been the first question. That should have been the first question you asked. So why do we think she didn't ask him that? Because I don't think they think he did. <laughs> I don't think that they use that for other than a tactic. I don't think yeah, that I whatever. Think so. I think she was just pretending more so mm -hmm. than anything yeah. else. And I think it was to scare the shit out of Chris Watts. He was sitting there like, oh, and then she's like, oh, dude, you got to stop your breathing, dude. You're, you're breathing way yeah. too fast. Yeah. You got, rubbing you, got, his back. you got to you slow down, man. You're way too nervous. So she got him all worked up. She got his nerves up. And that was to put it through and then go, mm, guess what, Chris? You didn't do so hot on that, man. We need to yeah, talk. I wish he could have had a lawyer We need to talk there, real talk. We need to talk They would have said, leave. You don't need to do this. Mm -hmm. And it makes, I don't know, man. It's weird. The whole thing's weird. Mm -hmm. That it whole is. thing. Now we're going back to that. But that, all right, let me start this video. I don't even know. We get off track. You could talk about this forever. I swear to God. <laughs> it's a never, it's the case that never stops giving. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't see your truck. Maybe she'd be more willing to come. And she doesn't see your truck. Maybe she'd be more willing to come in the house. I'm like, you know, I'm like, but don't be alone with her. I was like, because if she's upset enough to leave, I was like, you don't know what kind of confrontation you're going to have when you get back in the house. And I was like, so that's why you should have a friend there so that you're not alone with her. And I was like, and if for some reason you are alone with her, I told him, I was like, I really thought she just left. I did. I was like, get your phone, put it on video, and put it in your pocket. And I was like, and just zip it up. And he's like, why? And I told him, I was like, because you can voice record. I was like, so if she comes home, I was like, and you two are still like, you know, if there's some choice words being said, because you guys obviously got into like something that's, you know, early Did he in the ever morning. articulate what their argument was? He did, about? and I will get there. But, you know, I told him like, just be prepared, you know, because at this point, like, it wasn't like I was like trying to make her to be a bad person. It was just like, I didn't know what was going on. I assumed that she had left. So I was like, well, when you get back, because I knew that they were going through divorce, it was like, just cover your bases, you know, try not to be alone. And if you are just record what you guys are talking about. So like at the end of the day, like nothing bad happens to you, you know? And like, 
that was kind of how I processed that whole situation. And so um, he was like, all right. And then uh, she didn't come home that night. That was Monday night, right? Yes. Monday night. Monday. Monday night. Yes. Um, and he told me um, what he, this is what he told me they talked about. And I realized that this is like total bullshit. And I think he's telling you guys a different story. And I think the reason that he's telling me what he's telling, I think the story he's telling you is probably slightly more accurate than the one he told me on this case. What? And the reason is because I think he was trying to save his ass what? with the fact that she's pregnant. So he told me um, that they, that she had asked him to wake her up before he left for work on Monday morning. And so I don't know if she did that on a text or how it was supposedly communicated. Um, but he said that he went to get her up, which I also found weird because, like, she's still sleeping when he leaves because she gets up with the kids. And they get up shortly after that, but, like, it's just him in the mornings, you know. And so she, he supposedly, he said that she woke up and those two kind of just, like, got in a disagreement. And I don't know what all was said, but he was like, she was being pretty mean. And then he said, uh, she told me that she's pregnant. And she told me that the kid is not mine. That is what he told me. So she's pregnant. The kid's not mine. And that she's like he's playing. He didn't know she was pregnant. Yep. Until that morning. Yep. And that it's not. It, she had an affair with somebody else. Yes. And this is before I knew she was 15 weeks pregnant. Okay. Like all the stuff on Monday that I read if from my recollection, because I didn't find out she was pregnant until Tuesday. So anything that got posted on Monday did not emphasize the fact that she like had a baby on board. Um, so then. Um, Let me ask you something. You said that he usually gets up. There is that baby on board. That is so Make crass. Me not. That no. is so crass. Okay, the baby's dead, mm -hmm. and she's saying, "Baby on board." Baby on board. That bothered me. Me too. She's very distant from this situation. She's yeah. completely separated herself emotionally from them and from mm -hmm. the murders. And I don't know if it's a protection thing. I mean, it's the 16th of August. It's literally three days of probably a fucking whirlwind. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. And she's like, I haven't eaten. I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure she's in some kind of a, a way too. You know, I mean, we're all thinking she's bright eye and bushy tailed, you know? Yeah, so oh, I'm sure she got no well. She was saying, um, make sure that you record or something You're in case something bad there. happens to you. So that could have been the re like she could have been thinking that something happened to him and that's the reason why she was in Frederick that morning as well. Okay. Like, it must have been right. It could be. Or could it be that Missy was nosy and wanted to hear what they yeah. talked about? Yeah, that as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it, don't be alone with her. Yeah. I don't want so my man to, alone with her. You know what yeah. I'm saying? She wants to hear what they're saying, and also she could have gone there to see what was going on as well. So it could be two different mm -hmm. It could be taken both ways. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, all right, this next one, let me see if this is the right one. Okay, here it is. All right, I'm going to try to play it just through my mic. See if it is loud enough. Let me know. At the time, I wasn't really alarmed because it had been like a half a day. Sure. Um, and so then Tuesday rolled around and... Did you see him at all on Monday? You said you didn't, no, right? right? I did not see him. And I went to work Monday. Did he ever try to convince you to come see him or say he wanted... Did you hear it? Yeah. It was loud enough? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so yep. she's like, um, did he... Did he ever try, or she says, I went to work Monday and Tuesday. You can hear her say that. And he's kind of taught, he kind of asks the question over her, but she's like, he's like, did you see him on Monday? And she's like, no. And then she said, I went to work Monday and Tuesday. And then he goes, did he ever try to convince you to come see him or say he wanted to come to your house? Now, wait for her response here. I think this is a one of the clips that bothered me okay yes this is where Jim comes into play and the being sick all right here we go you said you didn't no. I, right, right, I did 
not see him. And I went to work one Did he ever try to convince you to come see him or say he wanted to come to your house? No, no, no. We were supposed to go look, pick out apartments to go look at on Wednesday, so yesterday. Um, but the, that obviously right. didn't So happen. on Monday, you never, he never tried to be convincing to get you to come up to see him? No, 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 no. no. Not, that not, not that I'm aware of. I don't think so because he, I had my buddy Jim was over Monday and Tuesday, and he knew Jim was over Monday and Tuesday, and that's why we were going to hang out on Wednesday. Okay. Um, so no, he didn't ask me. Um, so Tuesday rolled around and she still wasn't around. And this is when I started getting kind of sick. Like my friend Jim was sick on Monday when he came up and I don't know, I just started feeling like crap as it was. And then, um, I was just kind of having a hard time focusing and like thinking about what was going on. Cause, and I'd asked him a few times, I'm like, where's your family, Chris? Like, where's your family? You know, and he would tell me like, oh, I don't know, or I want them home. Like, I, Okay. Now, have we ever heard any more like elaboration on this sickness that Jim mm-hmm. that Jim had and then she had? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a theorist here. Is that a word? Theorist, mm-hmm. speculator, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say, hmm. Jim comes to town. Jim's already sick. Jim's sick on Monday. Sick as fuck. She didn't start feeling sick, though, for a day or two. Why was Jim sick? Did Jim get up to something on Sunday that made him sick? Or what? Like oil? I don't know. I mean, why was he or sick? Or COVID or killing people? If he was fucking know. sick, why is he coming and visiting? Exactly. If you're sick, you stay home, right? But if he had been sick and she had got sick because of something that they were involved in on Sunday, would she even mention it at all? And she was very adamant. Leave Jim out. Leave Jim out. Leave Jim out. I don't know. She didn't have to say that they were sick. You know, that just raises more questions. She's giving a lot more information than she needs to. Yeah. What if Jim had the Rona? Mm. (laughs) Damn it. I blame it on Jim. (laughs) <laughs> no, there was no Roma, Rona. I was yet. like, was there even Rona then? <laughs> nope, ro- nope. Another year no. for Rona. Maybe Jim waited. You Rona. guys, weird. The Watts case was pre-Rona. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking, was it really that long ago? That God, was that was a weird. That was like a different <laughs> life then. If you think back, really, it was. Uh-huh. Yeah. It Yikes, was. Ashley. I don't like that. And she was too overprotective. Too overprotective of, of James. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. So, so Jim would have been her alibi as well. So, why wouldn't she want them to speak to him? Like, he can right. say that she was there. He can say what they talked about and stuff. He was her alibi, and she's yeah. just like, no, leave him out of it. He doesn't know anything about this stuff. And there's I don't not want him being involved. Interview with him. Not one no, interview. Not one. So they listened. They didn't speak to him. That's crazy. I mean, your one alibi as a mistress to a man who just annihilated his family and you're mm-hmm. not interviewed, does that not make anyone feel uncomfortable? Mm-hmm. And why? Because they'd known him for years and she didn't want him to know that she was seeing a married man. Like, that doesn't seem like a good enough reason to me mm-hmm. no. to, to not have him as your alibi. I'd be like, yes, please do speak to Jim. Yes, she's the only Southern Belle. There really is a gem. Yeah. Yeah, he's real. Okay, so this, I'm sorry, I've got a clip here. And this is about Dave. Do you remember Dave? Dave was, um, I think, an ex-co-worker from Ford. I mm-hmm. think that's no, that can't be it because Dave was a cop. Dave's yeah. a retired cop and he lived in the neighborhood. But I'm not quite sure how Chris knew Dave. Do we know? No. Hmm, interesting. So, yeah, Dave, very interesting. that is very interesting. So, here she's going to talk about Dave and she says she never heard of Dave. Okay, listen. actually heard that name a few times like around him like there's certainly i never heard dave before dave was new but i've heard the name nick a lot so i don't know if that's like real or what but if i was to guess like friends that he like legitimately has i would assume that he was one of them um 
but yeah, because I know he's told me before, like when we first started hanging out, that I think I got different responses, but each time. Oh like, wait, I I rewound. Hold know, on. When she's still not home, he's like no, and oh, and I had also asked him to like. Um, he said he had a friend Dave named that was a cop, which I also find convenient that there's another Dave working in this case who's a cop. Okay, what is she talking about? Listen again. Um, but he was, I was like, Dave's on. No, and, oh, and I had also asked him to, like, um, he said he had a friend, Dave, named, that was a cop, which I also find convenient that there's another Dave working in this case who's a cop. Um, but he was, I was like, Wow, what, 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 what? Why'd she say that? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I've I've never heard of this. Hmm. David Cologne. I also hmm. asked him to like. Um. He said he had a friend Dave named that was a cop, which I also find convenient that there's another Dave working in this case who's a cop. Um. But he was. I was like, well, Dave's off. Why don't you just have him like post up outside your house too and see if she shows up? You know. And he told me on Tuesday morning he was like, I called Dave and asked him to sit outside my house and he's gonna do it. And he's like, and then my friend Nick is coming over later on this afternoon. And I was like, okay. Did you ever hear Nick's name before? Okay, so <laughs> he asked, he told her that he asked Dave to post up outside his house in case Shanann came home. And mm-hmm. But she makes this weird cryptic thing. Mm-hmm. Who's the Dave that's working this case that's a cop? Mm-hmm. Who's Dave? Dave, yeah, there is a Dave. Who is he? Dave who? Oh, what's his name? It's the... Oh, I can't remember. Coder? No, that's Graham. No. So why yeah, Graham. why in the world, though, is she saying, oh, I think it's pretty convenient that there's also a Dave working this case? Yeah, she's trying cop. to imply that they're, that they're both the same people. Yeah, is she trying... Yeah, why would she imply anything about that? Dave Baumhauber. Yeah, that's who I was thinking. Baum... Baumhauber. Baumhauber is Mm -hmm. Dave. Okay, weird. Okay, let's listen to that again. Thinking it was him. He's told me before, like, when we first started hanging out, that I think I got different responses, but each time, like, he didn't know where they were. You know, and I'm like, she's still not home. He's like, no. And, oh, and I had also asked him to, like, um, he said he had a friend, Dave, named, that was a cop, which I also find convenient that there's another Dave working in this case who's a cop. Um, but he was, I was like, well, Dave's off. Why don't you just have him like post up outside your house too and see if she shows up, you know? And he told me on Tuesday morning, he was like, I called Dave and asked him to sit outside my house and he's going to do it. And he's like, why in the hell were they talking about him needing a fucking cop when she comes back? And I think, I think he was telling her some crazy shit about Shanann. I, yeah, I think he had her convinced that he was worried for his life. Yeah, yes. I think so, and I think that's why she said, like, record so that nothing bad happens to you, because he was probably mm-hmm. saying... Remember the letter? Remember the letter mm-hmm. from North Carolina? If anything happens to me, look yeah. at my wife. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Dave is the friend from California, and Chris lied that simple. No, Dave's not the friend from California. That's not Dave. That's no. another friend. That's, um... What's his name? Potato? Huh? The friend that talked to Cindy, he did the interview, he's in the military. That's the one that lives in San Diego. What's his, Mark. Mark, what's his last name? Chris's oh, friend, Mark. Know. I can't remember. Mark is I the one in San Christmas. Diego that they met up with. He's his childhood friend. He talks to Cindy. Mm-hmm. Remember, he gave that whole account, yeah. how Cindy was telling him about the dynamics with Shanann and yeah. all this. He's the one when they went to San Diego for the th- Thrive trip that Chris met up with him and told him about the affair. Mm-hmm. Do you think that people are saying in chat they were trying to set Shanann up to go to jail? Hmm. They wanted Shanann to go to jail. Yeah. Chris Watt's best friend was Mark Jameson. Yeah, Mark Jameson. That's his name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. not David. David is not from no. California. David has property. Yep. Muck Boys, you're right, had property in Florida. And I think he was in West Palm Beach. I think that's where he lives now. I don't think David Cologne lives in Colorado anymore. But how did Chris know David Cologne? 
who's a retired cop. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows? No. Don't you find that to be weird? Mm-hmm. It would have been verified. Why, why did, I think we did. I think we researched his ass. I think we had his address there in Colorado. We found out that he moved. I think that he did a follow-up interview, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can find that. Um, Because he, he has an interview in the Discovery as well. I don't know, man. This is getting way here. Is it C-O-L-O-N? It is. Oh, that's right. Okay. He's he 47. wrote He wrote Chris in jail as well. Yeah, he lives in California. And he's the one that said that Shanann could be overbearing. He lives in Austin. Okay, so yeah, I heard this too. So I'm looking on Reddit, which I know Reddit is sketch, but um, it says that I know he went to the Watts house that Monday with Jeremy to talk to him. That's right. This is all coming back to me now. He's mm-hmm. friends with Jeremy um, Lindstrom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's friends with Lindstrom, and Lindstrom was the was the daughter, his daughter babysat. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then um, him and Lindstrom went to the Watts house that Monday to talk to Chris. Yeah. And I think that they all knew each other through the Ford dealership. And then it says, per his Facebook post, his wife made Chris dinner or offered him dinner. So that makes sense. It was from the um the Ford dealership. Mm-hmm. But I thought that was weird. She's like, oh, it's really uh interesting that there's another Dave working this case. Like, why is that interesting? Yeah. There's a lot uh-huh. of Daves in this world, you know? Yeah, there is. I just wondered why she made just a weird comment. Or uh, mm-hmm, a reference. Threw that in there, yeah. So here, I'm going to share screen for a second. It's because I looked up some David Cologne. And here we go. This is from Crime Rocket, which is Nick Vanderlink leak. This is his other site. Oh, his images are gone. I think his one site got taken down. Yeah, I think this is the site that got taken down. That sucks. But he's got, okay, I told them how overbearing Shanann could be. But then see the letters gone. Yeah. Is he the one that was from Florida too? Yes. Yeah, I have him on been verified. Yeah, see, that's gone. Where was he in Florida? Like West Palm or something? Kiss the me. Okay. Oh wow! And it show it shows a picture of him. Yeah, he did a couple. Old. He did a couple interviews, and then he, like I said, he wrote Chris. He's in Colorado Springs still. Yeah, locate Colorado Springs. All right, let's see something here. I'm gonna actually. I mean, we can definitely do. A part two here. Yeah. Which for sure I think we're going to have to. <laughs> Potato's like, yes. <laughs> like, I mean, I haven't even gotten to your them. clips, Melissa. I mean, we have so much. I know. Much. I said like 10 of them. But That's they were low good news. ones. Mine were just good of like. No, I'll I pull them know, up. Just, I just wanted to see something real quick. I just like some of it was like. It was a lot of like her. Poor her. And then. Her safe house in Denver. I I think I'm just going to go to my safe house in Denver. All I got to do is check my mail. Nobody knows where it is. I have no friends in the building. Yeah, Who she safe, already had that set safe up. House? She Who does. Has a safe house. <laughs> and her dad's like, yeah, we already have this planned out for her to go there. Like, who has a safe house that you You're only have watching. to check your mail and you know yeah. nobody? Uh huh. She had a safe house all set up already. 
<sighs> I don't know. Okay, I was just seeing if I could find this. This is nine minutes, and this is my trip to the Watts house, but we're going to play one more clip. I just wanted to make sure I had that. All right, this one is going to be yours, Maligator. that he was asleep I they're was super sure this is how it like went and what he was trying to tell me is that he was asleep by the time she got home and she sent him a text and said wake me up before you leave and then he woke her up and they got an argument and then he went to work that's how it and the context me. of that argument again was just the she's pregnant and is there anything else that he shared with he you? did not elaborate on it and i didn't ask i didn't ask what were you thinking at that time uh, this was like on Monday. I don't, I mean, I, again, at that point I was like, I still thought she left. I mean, this was all on Monday. Like I legitimately thought this woman left the premises with her kids and just wanted nothing to do with him for like 24 hours. So his story was believable that she was pregnant from another man and maybe she took off for that guy or. Uh, he, he, I mean, he said several times, like, I think she just said that out of spite. Okay. Like he thought she was with one of her friends. So he stood, held true. Do you think that the distance between Dwayne and his daughter is odd? Or do you think that it's just the way the interrogation room is set up? Well, eventually he pulls closer and holds her hand. Well, it took him long enough. I was going to mm -hmm. say, it took quite a while for him to actually get up and give her a hug and stuff and then hold her hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's so literally I'm leaning to the left. Mm -hmm. But then maybe he wanted to stay away from her so that she had space to speak or something. I don't know. Maybe. I, I, I'm i going to let this play and then I'm going to go get myself some biscuits. Some hobnobs. <laughs> I'm going to some hobnobs. Or a Jaffa cake. <laughs> I'm, oh, I got to try the Jaffa cakes. <laughs> hobnobs. I'm assuming this is how it is. Okay. So is that. How does this end? I was, oh, it loops. Okay, so it was over. Durr. I get confused with these clips. I always think they're going to keep playing the whole video. Yeah, they just I'm like, keep going. I can't Is think this my clip? It was, yeah. It was. No, when... you need to play the safe house clip. How do I know which one that is? It says safe house. I sent it to you. It says safe house. This part makes me sick. These are Maligator's titles. This part makes me sick. It does. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, here's safe house. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Play that one. And then it, it won't be. There, they there, there's like a swarm my house. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, they were like swarming his. He told me that he's like, there's media everywhere. And it's just like, I hope that does not happen well, to me. Yeah. I mean, I have like a little, I have like a safe house in Denver that I can go to, that I have the go. keys to, that has That's nobody what we're, there That's what ever. We're for the next and it's all weeks. I have to do is check the mail. And there's no questions asked, and nobody knows where it is, and I'm not telling anybody, but it's, like, a really nice spot for me to, like, hide so out, and I don't have any friends in that building. I mean, it's an apartment, but and it's And we will safe. answer your phone calls, but the safe house is from... The safe house go, go is the safe people house. People banging on her apartment well, door. Well, when should I go there? When do you think all this is going to start happening? And then it won't be... Are they there, gonna, there's like, a swarm my house. No, I don't think so. No, they were like swarming his. He told me that he's like, there's media everywhere. And it's just like, I'm sorry, I literally went and got a hobnob. Are you there? Hello. Have you got some tea as well? Um, I got to, to dip your marine hobnob in. I got, to, I got <laughs> a Coke Zero. No, you don't want to dip it in. <laughs> And a hobnob. I don't know if those go together. No, I don't think so. I'm just curious of how she has a safe house. Is it Jim's house? I think so. I think so, too. I have a key. I only have to check the mail. Nobody, I have no friends there, though, she says. Nobody can bother me. Nobody knows anything about it. But Jim was in Denver. He has a place in Denver. Yeah. He travels. Yep. Wisconsin, too. He's originally from Wisconsin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sketch. 
I want to write what? Chris. I'm so close to him. Like, I want to write him, but I don't know how to write him where he'll, like, open my letter unless I write some, like, religious thing on the envelope. Well, your luck, he'll <laughs> give it to one of the inmates like he did that one chick. Right? Yeah, for a honey bun. Right. You'll get <laughs> your letter. I'll put, hey, I'll put money on his books and then I'll write him. <laughs> then he can get lots of honey buns. <laughs> You he'll think trade, he answer me? He'll trade your letter for some ramen noodles. Then my noodles. name will be all over social media that I'm yeah. on his friends list. <laughs> I think he gets a lot of letters. But, hey, yeah. it will be my married name and no one will know. <laughs> <laughs> they will not be able to find me because I won't change anything yet. So they won't know it's me. And I'll just write him in my married name with like a religious passage and he'll open it and I'll get dirt. I'm going to do it. Hold on. I'm Muck, do boys, it. Muck boys. Muck boys said cop, cops let DK. Who's DK? Talk. But NA couldn't speak for Nick. So weird. Who's DK? Um, Dwayne Kessinger. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good true. point. She wasn't allowed to speak, and he, yeah, that's true. a really good point. And he's a minor. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if anyone was going to be able to speak, then it would be Nicole. Hmm. I I thought that was weird. Her dad was in there the whole time, and then to like be like, "You're leading. You're leading." I don't think it's weird. I think they wanted that shit without having to force her to give it up. Yeah, I think yeah, they were just playing fun. the game. Mm -hmm. I wish we could play the last one where she was like, did they find them? I sent that you that one too. Well, we'll, we'll do this another, another yeah. part because there's mm -hmm. so much. Uh -huh. You just have to do it on the night that I'm not at work. We will. Okay. Here is, I don't even remember what in the hell is in this video. So That's I'm light. going to apologize in, um, advanced because I don't recall because ever since this video was made and I went to Denver it has been nothing but constant harassment defamation etc 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 from many people in the YouTube world so my mind's a little foggy when I think back to this time but at any rate I remember I this mm -hmm. will be this will uh -huh. be a refreshment for me too I'm just gonna yeah, eat. you talk to the neighbor. I'm just gonna yeah. eat my uh, biscuits. Hobnobs. My hobnobs. And they sold the house. The mom don't live there anymore. Two eight two five. Sarah took the trail of a party who's checking on a. Can friend. you see it? You talk to her. It you see it. It right? says she. I mean, yeah. pregnancy. Like she was so excited and then got yeah. blindsided from her husband that he wanted to separate a week ago. And her husband's name is Chris. Good God, that's loud. Yes, his name is Chris Watt. I can't hear it at all. Mm -hmm. You have to watch it on YouTube. Hi, and welcome to Jay is for Justice. Oh, if you God like today. what you see, Bye don't behind. forget to hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Can you see it on YouTube or no? Yeah. You can? Yeah, we're just way behind. Yeah, no. we're just behind. Wait. I can't see it. I don't think the audience um, can see it, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not, not on YouTube. Okay. No, That's it's what not. I thought. That's why I said, I'm like, I don't think... It's showing. Heather the brat. There's nothing on the screen. <laughs> I think can hear it though. Oh my Everyone god. Crazy. Yeah, why can't they see it though? I don't know. I could I hear it. I could. You could at it. the beginning, like you see the beginning, and then I think it just fell off the screen. I don't know. Oh, you could see it at the beginning. I think so. Unless mm -hmm. I'm going crazy. All right. I mean, <laughs> we can. Yeah. I can see the snow footprints you on my phone. You should be able to see it now, right? Yeah. I see it on my phone. and 
and I'm on yeah, my computer. See, yeah, it's just not on YouTube. I can see it now. Yeah, I can see it. No, you can. You guys could always see it on. Yeah. No, no, I can see it from my phone, which is YouTube. So it's I working can see the now. No footprints. Yeah, you can now, but it wasn't on there before. What about when I no. go full screen? Can you see it still now? Or does it yeah. cut it off? I just still see snow footprints, so I don't know. Right, but I just went full screen. Did it go full yeah, screen on YouTube? On my, it's not on my YouTube yet. Oh, okay. No, I can see it It should be catch up in a second. I just want to know if it's going to show full screen or not. No, it doesn't show full screen. Okay. It says click it's to exit again. or some shit. It's I guess we have to do it like this. All right. So this is my footage that I put together. Now, mind you, I'm not a videographer. can't with the music. <laughs> God, that's the living room right there, you guys, where she sat on the floor and did macros. Let me check in. Think that's the view from Nate's house that uh that Cam picked up, you know. I totally didn't mean to put Jason music in here either. What? How to what? 
how to express heartfelt communication to your mate. What? Dude, that freaked me out. What? Hey, Nate. How you doing, Nate? Nice to meet you. No, we're out here actually with uh, Mr. Watts. With who? With who? The book that yeah, they left there. Oh. Hi, how you doing? Hey buddy, how's it going? Oh shit! <laughs> Taking the call. Yeah, is it just is it just you or is Anna on also? I'm here too. All right, cool. 
All right, so That's just crazy. just talk to me. I don't want to. I don't want <laughs> this be call. I can't. So, Gillespie. <laughs> um. Yeah. So thanks, Shell. Thanks, you guys. It was very weird to be there. Very. I'm sure. Yeah, I can't imagine how it would be in there. Hmm. I said, "Is it weird? I would live there." You would live there. I would live there. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't. No, I wouldn't live there. I don't even know if I'd like being inside I mean, there, to be honest. My brother, so I could live there. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd even want to go in there and hang out, to be honest with you. It, no. The vibe, even just when we pulled up right in front and I like videoed the front of the house, you instantly, you instantly feel this dark vibe. It's just, I can't describe it. It's It's like... Every house has green grass and is well taken care of. And then it's like this eyesore in the middle of this nice neighborhood. And it just sits. And yeah, it's it just, just dark. It is. It's just like a dark. Or do you think they'll tear it down? Oh, I have no idea. I just think somebody will buy it. I mean, they have a lien on it. So unless someone's willing to. No, the lien's it. gone. The, the Rusex <laughs> had the lien on it. So they when they have the house now, they took the lien off. That was just from them winning against Chris mm -hmm. after the uh, conviction. Yeah. So they're never going to recover it. So they put a lien on the house. I don't know why they put a lien on the house. Maybe if he yeah. sold it, then they would have gotten the proceeds. But yeah. yeah, they think it's worth 800000 But I think pretty much they would take anything at this point if someone would just move in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their plans are with it, but. I should call and see what they're asking for it. It's that's not for sale. No, it's not. It isn't? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But they, they've, like, redecorated and stuff inside, so... They repainted it, yeah. Stuff have gone. It's all just neutral colors, and they've got rid of the swing set as well in the back. I so knew they... like they are getting ready to sell it, I guess. It's been painted for a while, though. Mm. But now this, this, the yard stuff is gone, so, I mean, yeah. do, you, do you think they're going to do something with it? I'm going to call on monday and see what the deal is if it is for sale if it's not what they're asking for it i'm gonna call just to see it's not listed is it i don't know who you'd call you'd have to call the the bank because that's who owns it i'll call whoever i'll look it up who said that sweet crazy she said i heard a family or i thought a family from california is trying to buy it where would you see that well, it's been all the so. internet that it's been sold and yeah. well, I get that, but, but there's not. but if you look on Zillow, you can clearly tell it wasn't even put up for sale since 2019. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where that's coming from. But now, mm -hmm. it's, fact but, check, people, fact check. Yeah, it's not hard. It just now says something like uh, Frankie posted to yesterday on his community or two days ago that yeah, it is not for sale, and that's a rumor. So. No, it just shows how much it's valued at now. It doesn't say anything about being sold. Yeah, anymore. they could easy, yeah. easy get 800000 for that house. Easy. Yeah. Colorado, yeah. not only is the market across the country insane, Colorado's been insane for years now. Because mm -hmm. when they bought that house, I think they purchased it for under three hundred or under 400000 Yeah, it was. Just under four hundred. So now it's doubled its value almost. Mm -hmm. And all the houses in that area have also gone up. So. Who's TJ? From TJ. Dude, who's TJ? I am lost. I don't know these initials of all these people. I, I do not know. TJ. What's your address? What's that address? 2825 Saratoga Trail. 2825. All right. Well, I think we've been going three hours now three hours three hours i know and yes. it's like we haven't even look touched the surface you know uh -oh. when you look it up it says it's off the market where it didn't yeah. say that they it didn't say that not long ago that's why it I'm did last it. time i looked yeah it's that's been off the market since 2019 it says right on uh zillow oh, oh red TJ x crime red files, files. Okay, I don't know who that is. I Red X isn't that Rogers Group? Red X Group. Uh, yeah. So okay. I know who Red X Crime Files is. Oh Lord, Red X. I get it now. 
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna email this. Just person. like now, I get red pill, blue pill. I didn't get that before either. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't know either. <laughs> you you I'm a little behind. <laughs> Here I had that Rolo Tomasi come on my panel and everything, and he's like this big red pill, blue pill thing. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, oh, we're going to talk about relationships and dynamics? (coughs) Duh. (coughs) Not quite. Not Mm -hmm. quite. So, yeah, Jay's learned a lot since being on the tubes. I didn't realize how naive I was. It's kind of nice to be naive. (laughs) It is. I'm going to stick my head right back in the sand. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's I prefer it there. Yeah, we do not want to know anymore. <laughs> hey you guys, thank you. Southern Bella Brandy said that that was a really hard video to watch. I saw a couple of people saying that. Like this is actually yeah. really hard to watch. Um Yeah, it is. It's hard to watch because you we've seen so much footage from yeah. the good times or you know mm-hmm. the the girls playing and laughing and you yeah, know that picture. Real life. That uh-huh. picture of CC on that swing set just kills me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sad. It is really sad. So, yeah. yeah um, I'm going to give you guys, actually, the link to my playlist. I have a lot of, like, random Watts stuff. I'm 111 videos on this Watts playlist, and then I have another playlist with the uh, timeline episodes so my one chris watts playlist has 111 videos you guys that's a lot that's a a lot lot lot, isn't it Mm -hmm. yeah i mean you guys this is almost four years of stuff i just look back Mm -hmm. and i crack up at my titles like chris watts dog sniff a closer look (laughs) (laughs) Look at this one. The first Chris Watts case podcast, Murder Rap Sesh. This is where I got my beginning, folks. Mm -hmm. That is episode one of recording on (laughs) Skype and sounding like I'm on a transistor radio. I love it. (laughs) I just listen to that. When I think I haven't come a long way, I go back and listen to that. And I'm like, eh, okay. Here's another video. Chris Watts Tinder date explained. I would love to watch these again because I haven't seen them in years. Mm-hmm. Ronnie Watts interview discussion. New interview with Ronnie Watts. That was Kim uh, K's. Look at this one. Watts case discussion. Are you controlling? I think this is when Rolo Tommaso called in. Do you guys know who Rolo is? Rolo Tomasi. Yeah, one you had before. Hey, buddy, how's Hold it going? Days. The what? What are you talking about? You had them talking about, right? You went over this before. You buzzed. Huh? Went you over what? Rolo. <laughs> I mentioned him a minute ago. Oh. I thought I found the video with him in it. Oh. Maybe not then. Oh, loud. Jay, look at you. Oh, Laura, <laughs> did you see that shiz? I'm emailing this person about that. Let's see what happens. Hey, muck boys. Thanks for being in here. Um, Jen, Jen Richards, I've been watching old laundry videos to remember the time. Bad case, but great vids. <laughs> we did have fun, didn't we? Cadlegate 2.0, Chris Watts case, book number two, a failure. Oh, Cato. Chris Watts files affidavit on behalf of Buddy Dylan Tallman. Uh. <laughs> um, this one's interesting right here. New footage, what you don't know about the Watts family, plus footage of Shanann's first home. Mm-hmm. We've got all kinds of stuff here. Cops mm-hmm. called to Chris Watts' house. Remember that at, at night? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the we've mystery. got, yeah. Yeah, the lights were on inside, and yeah, they yeah. saw a female leave, did they not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did they ever figure out who that was? No. They did not. They did very not. It's very, very strange. Very strange. Mm-hmm. We don't know who was in that house, we but 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 we know that no, Nate said there was no lights on, and then all of a sudden, there were lights. So creepy. Now, this video, do you guys remember this? 
the Dr. Phil episode? Wasn't it deleted? Let me just go look and see. Oh, what yeah, was it was. I have the deleted Dr. Phil in here. <gasps> Do you guys remember this episode where he talked about NK? Tell me you've seen it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I have. Yo. He went all on. Remember this part, too? The the damn um, commercial on the TV when they're standing at Nate's? This? Mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Yikes. I mean, I mean come on. Come what is the on. Look at his yeah, face, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his... Uh... Stomach dropped out his ass then, I think. That is so weird. And then it, like, clicked back to Nate's, like, camera right after that. Mm -hmm. It's just weird how he saw that, and then he's like, oh, yeah, by the way, she's pregnant. Uh, Right. The answer is about Shannon's pregnancy and why Chris had not. Yeah, that was creep town, dude, like, big time. He's like, what the fuck? Look at his face. He's like, what? Mm Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you think Nate put that on on purpose? There's no way. No. <laughs> no way. Um. This here. Here's something interesting. Nicole recalled speaking with Chris on Monday night, and he was sleeping. She thought this was strange due to the situation with his family. Um. Nicole challenged Chris about Shanann being pregnant. Nicole challenged Chris about Shanann being pregnant. Chris then told Shanann, told Nicole Shanann was pregnant. Wait, what? So that what? means that Nicole was asking him, dude, is your wife pregnant? Is your wife pregnant? When was that supposed to be? This is in the discovery. I don't know. When was she asking him, though? When, I don't know. If she was pregnant. I don't know. This is just say, a clip from Dr. Phil. Does it say on it? <clears throat> it? No, it doesn't. And then it says, Chris continued to ask Nicole if their relationship was okay after telling Nicole that the child was his. This is fake news. Is this like altered? I don't remember this. Chris, he also expressed concern for his wife and children during these text messages. What? What? Nicole also told Chris to contact her. Hang on. Let me zoom out. After his family's found. I remember oh, so that. After. So this is after she saw that. Because she said that she saw Shanann was pregnant from the newspaper or something. She said on Tuesday. So then she's asking. So, okay. So she must have seen it in the paper and then she was pressing him like, you better tell me. Yeah. Yeah, (gasps) Snow is in chat. Yes. Snow. She's been here the whole time. (laughs) Oh my God. Informer. (laughs) 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 That's my girl Snow. (laughs) Hi, Snow. Do I know Snow or no? Yeah. I just have a bad memory. I get, I get. By me. <laughs> My thing is, though, guys, how does he still own the house being in prison? Because it's in it's his just name. His name on it. How, though? Because he bought the house. <laughs> because he purchased like, how it. How did the bank not take it away and it be out of his name? Well, they can't change the name, though, unless there's another owner. So it's just in foreclosure. So here's NK's yeah. um history right here with that ping. Because mm-hmm. it said it went up for auction, but nobody would buy it last year. Well, this is true. And this says a simple divorce would have shown Nicole if they had filed for divorce. And then we have the lazy dog, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, this is the Dr. Phil Epi. And it says, my title says, Chris Watts, Mitch, Mistress, Conversations with Christopher. Phil McGraw throws NK under the bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. All right, I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys the link in chat. He looks so much happier with her than he did with well yeah he was having the murder of life, he? Mm-hmm. all right i am going to put this in chat 
if you guys want to snuggle up with Dr. Phil when you get out of here. <laughs> MAGA country. Love you. Who's MAGA country, Roberta? You must have changed your name because I've never seen that name. Who's been a Who's been a Roberta for five months? Roberta's MAGA country. Who's MAGA country? I do not know. Speak or forever hold your peace. Grandma <laughs> just called and said we're supposed to go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's your Dr. Phil episode. Your your guys' homework in chat is to watch that, and then we're going to discuss what he talks about. After the next episode when we play Maligator's effing clips. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get through her clips, Maligators. Say them. I was just we're gonna <laughs> Maligator, Maligator. We're waiting until you're off, and we are going to plant some flowers and on the side of the house. Yeah, but right now we're gonna tuck you in. We're gonna tuck. We're gonna. We're gonna tuck you in with some um. Flute music. Have <laughs> the sense cut a mic. Your account has always been MAGA country? You must not have ever chatted because I would have remembered that. There's it must be you must be from the Red X group. Red pill. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't even know what the shit means. I just know there's some kind of political meaning. <coughs> toot toot. We're going to plant flowers on the side of the house. And cut my mic. And then, <laughs> oh my God. Wait, here's another. Guys, I'm never going to. Here's. Yes, oh, oh, yes, you are. Whatever. <laughs> You're sick, Jay. You're Jay. sick, J L O L. You're sick, J L O L. It's a full moon. <laughs> oh is. no! Don't tell Allie. It was yesterday. It was Friday the thirteenth. So I mean, yeah, it was Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Say it again. Friday the what? Thirteenth. The thirteenth. That's not how she. Friday the thirteenth. We're planting flowers. Potato, your voice is so hot. It is. Well, I said, he said he could listen to her all day. Oh, everybody says that. I, are you kidding me? I get donations just to bring her up on panel. Why do you think I have her on all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. Damn it. Getting pimped out. <laughs> Dude, people pay good money to hear that voice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Maybe I should read some stories. <laughs> She should do audiobooks. Audiobooks. I hate the sound of my voice. I hate listening to my No, voice. you have a great no, voice. You do have a great voice. You're very well, easy to so easy much. on the ears. Very easy yeah. on the ears. And very knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. You're oh, very articulate. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she's very smart. Even with like just our Slack stuff. She's like boom, 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 boom. She's like you Well, I think that's because she's people. British. I think that <laughs> British <laughs> British people are are very proper and by the book. That's how I've always pictured yeah. Brits. Except for, you know, like the Who and stuff like that. They're a bunch of drug addicts, but like the <laughs> I'm just kidding. I freaking love the British of Asian. Are you kidding me? That's like one of my favorite genres of music. But no, I've always pictured the Brits to be very proper with their uniforms at school and the kids all wear uniforms. They all look the same. They, they all wear uniforms. They they're do. Always, and they're Asian. all they're all very pale. Like you're potato out. They're very pale yeah, and they're, they're in their uniforms and they're on their double decker buses. Their school buses are bu- double deckers and they're just prim and proper. They use proper English and gr- they never make grammatical errors. No, and we never swear. Either. Never. No. The never. queen would not approve. <laughs> Oh my god. Leo Tech says that she, oh, she was born on the 4th of, or in the uh, Friday the 13th. And um, Tammy Moore goes, Leo Tech, so you were born yesterday. <laughs> 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 Tammy Moore. 
Did I say evasion? The British invasion. <laughs> Holy. I think it's time to call it a night. Holy. Oh We're all getting giddy. Oh, yeah. Potatoes yeah, like fucking delirious. Like sun's coming up. I know. Sun's coming up over there. I know, my, my birds are going to start. I'm going to have to record them. My big fat pigeons outside. <laughs> Jay's got like nice birds that sing like a nice dawn chorus and stuff. And I've got pigeons and crows. <laughs> they sound, her pigeons sound like Peppa Pig. They're, yeah, they're loud and beefy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I don't know if you're British and you don't know a George or a Pita, there's something wrong. A what? A George? A George or a Pita. Like a George or a Pita. You guys are still using <laughs> You guys are still using George and Peter for like George babies. Peter, like yeah. <laughs> you pick up a little baby and go, Oh, look at little George. <laughs> Baby Peter. George, is, George is like a really popular name here. Probably like a number one. That's so popular weird. Name. <laughs> Everyone's stuck on your like beefy pigeon. Beefy pigeorials. Like, I'm going to send you pictures. Your beefy pigeon. What the? <laughs> Shells. So beefy pigeon is like a big fat pigeon. Beefy. <laughs> beefy. Shell oh, said all three of you need to go to bed. <laughs> it's so true. Cut everyone's mic. Let's go. <laughs> That's the best one. Cut his mic. Where's Carrie tonight? You know, we didn't see Carrie. Oh, I don't know. Well, hopefully she replays. We missed you, Carrie. <laughs> I missed when I can't pl- press Carrie's button. <laughs> It doesn't feel right pressing her button when she's not here. That's what she says. She'll, she'll <laughs> cut the mics. <laughs> oh my god, beefy pigeons. I'm going to have to cut that for a sound bite. <laughs> How about if I mix beefy pigeons in with this? Beefy pigeons is like the ghetto of Chicago. Oh my god, I'm going to pee my Oh my pills. god, muck boys, yes. George and Pita, aren't they the names of the Beatles? They are, as a matter of fact. Is that why you guys love the name George and Peter? Because is Peter in the Beatles? Oh my God, Peter! Yeah, it's Peter. Peter, where, where in the bloody hell is Peter? Where did Peter oh go? <laughs> I'm crying. I have tears. I'm gonna be so my. I'm gonna be. I think I saw him with Big Ben. Over at. Do you say that like, oh hey, I'm gonna go over to Big Ben. I'll I'll meet you at Big Ben. They say Big Ben. Big Pia. Big Ben. Like, do you go to Big Ben? I've been to Big Ben. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's just a big bell in the <laughs> Beefy pigeons, daddy's little fatty. <laughs> oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh, oh my like, god! I'm a little bit up. <laughs> Stop! Oh. You know, yeah. Don's full of yeah. fun. <laughs> I oh know. God. Put one in me too, Maple. Oh, like, yeah, see. me too. <laughs> All right. We're gonna dance it out before before Maligator pees her pants. Jeez. George Ringo, John and Paul. I didn't think there was a Peter. Peter. <laughs> oh my God, sweet crazy! What the hell is Big Ben? Big Ben. So Big Ben big... is a big tower clock in London, but the clock tower isn't actually called Big Ben. It's just the bell inside is Big Ben. Oh, Peter is called Big Ben. Is a big bell. Big Ben is the bell, and Peter. Big yeah. Big Ben and Peter are friends. <laughs> They go, they go out and get on together. Yes, Rose, it is. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, it is now. <laughs> Melissa Clifford, you're all forking crazy. <gasps> Don't break my door. Bonk, <laughs> <laughs> Don't break my door, you fucking bitch. 
right? <laughs> All right, enough selling off. <laughs> okay, deep breath. Okay, <sighs> compose yourself. You are tears, so can. are we ready tomorrow? Let's talk about tomorrow. We're going to go over the depth shit over oh, yeah. some Back coffee in the morning. morning. Uh-huh. All right. What time? Because I have to work tomorrow night. Um, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're going to be going over some depth stuff. And then Monday, we're back in court. Yes. So, yeah, we got to get all that crazy out. <laughs> so we're ready for Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll stay awake Monday. The uppers. I work 40 hours this I week. Go so ahead. It sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. 10 a.m. Janice Buns. Janice Buns. 10 a.m. Uh, let's see here. You, you, you oh poured gosh. yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? This was fun, a though. Mega pint. I mean, it was sad, but it's fun yeah. that we just get to, like, now hang out and laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It sure is. It sure is, Maligator. Um, Maligator. <laughs> isn't happy hour anytime? It sure is. <laughs> Maligator? Grandma just called what? and said you're supposed to go home. <laughs> what now? <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> All right, you guys. I am out. Dance it out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Thank you, Goyles. Goyles. Thank you for having us. Yes, from over the pond. You guys say goodbye to Potato, Detective Potato. <laughs> and from the cheese country, say goodbye to Maligator. Rattlesnake. Good night, guys. Good night. Love you all. Thank you. Love you all, too. Oh, my God. We'll be back. <laughs> I don't know if that's good news or bad news at this point. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your weekend, you guys. <laughs>